Hello. Hi. I've got to play Tekken. I don't have any way to be able to stall. Uh, I don't have anything I can do. Uh, okay, well. That's fine. I think I'm going to be on the left side when I switch, so... Oh, I'm fine. Okay, cool. Hello! Hello. Hello. Hi. I have to play this goddamn game again. Ah! We've begun such a long period where I haven't had to play the game, and now I got nothing. I do have a couple of things to do outside of Tekken today. I have two. But, uh, that's going to be later. Right now, I just, I, I have to, I have to play the game. I don't have a choice. New character, Red Ranks. Asuka Kazama. Red Ranks, Purple Ranks. I really need to get more damage. That does more. Okay, that's the combo. And then what do you do after that? Just that, right? I assume. Yeah, that doesn't work. <clears throat> Hi. I should see actually if I have any wins with Asuka already in rank, because I feel like I might. Yeah, good thing I checked. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's 64. 43 wins. Okay. Asuka Kazama. I got to a fairly high rank in Season 1 as well, huh? Oh my god, this one guy is the only person I'm matching against and they keep not accepting the match. I guess I can keep trying to, like, find whatever combos I should be using. Yeah, because that doesn't work. I have to do this one. Um... Oh, it's one. What do you do here? It's not like I would even use this move, really.
Can you hit confirm this? Oh, you can. Oh my god. No, oh my god. That guy was on Wi Fi, was French, and had a 12% disconnect rate. Jesus. Oh boy, this guy's profile picture is Oscar. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm I'm done. I'm dead. I'm deranking. This is gonna be the first derank in this challenge. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. That wasn't a punish. Okay. All right. Yeah, this guy's good. This guy's really good. Oh my god. Holy shit, this guy's insane. No, I might actually derank off of this guy. Ah, oh, fuck. Holy hell. Dude, this guy's insane. This guy's smart. This guy's a. There's no way. This guy either plays play a match like religiously, like me, or. Like, there's no way. Look at this guy's fundamentals. Ah, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, dude. That, that I was I was in block stun for so long. I tried doing three uh three one and I just got one and then I got Cali rolled because of it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Incredible. I won a round. This guy's this guy's insane. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, he did the last hit. Okay. Fuck. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Whatever. I, I keep I keep forgetting the launch punish with Asuka, but it's fine. What the hell? Okay. Shit. Okay. Whoo! 
high crush. Okay. Dude, that was a comeback and a half. Holy fuck, man. Oh my god. I don't know how I got three rounds on that guy from a two round deficit. My god. This is tough. Okay. Nice, good punish. Oh, last hit there. That whiff punish is insane. Okay. Just got him with the one. He won't AOP. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. I. <clears throat> Nice, Sue. Oh, wow. Good magic four. Oh. That was a big counter hit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Come on. Forward, forward two. Mental stack. Okay. Good stat. That's minus 12. Two, three. Two, three to 12 frame. Wow. <clears throat> that forward two is great, though. That's hit, That hits AOP. Good spacing. Okay. Good hit confirm. Oh. oh my god, that's launch punishable. Jesus. The ro the rollback now, it's on three. Oh my god! Wow! That was a good read. Okay. Clean hit. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Went for it. <sighs> okay, you can't parry that. Dude, look at this rollback. Oh my god. That was more than three. That was like six. That was like melty blood rollback. Holy shit. I'm ready. I'm ready. Jab. AOP. Oh! Okay. I'm fine. Oh. Okay. Stay away. There you go. Big whiff. Punish, punish. Three plus four. 
it, it kind of worked. Oh, man, that magic four. Damn, dude, I got hit the three button. Got ducked that second hit. Nah. Oh, that was down back three. Oh, okay, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. That was, that was so bad. Okay. Nice. Good counter hit. Oh my God, his back dashing there. I gotta stop teching. Okay. Spacing so strong. Okay, all right. Why do you hesitate? Just use your defensive ability. Oh, wow! Okay. What? Okay. Ah, uh, I went for the down back four for the for the high crush there. Nice. That was huge. Shoulder tackle. Woo, the pickup. Oh, the unblockable tackle. Oh, that was such a good round. Oh, that was a fantastic round. My Tekken prowess went from 208,000 to 275,000 after a win. I don't understand this Tekken prowess thing. I don't get it. Okay. Okay, that was, I, that I could have done back four for a punish there. Okay. Oh. Yep. Gotta stop tacking. Okay. Wow, that avoids down forward one. Okay. <clears throat> Good to know. Did I, I didn't. That's the second time I didn't launch that shoulder. It's minus 18. Nice. Minus 12. Okay. There you go, that time it hit. I still shouldn't have done it, but... Went low. What the hell? Where'd the three go? It's minus 12. No, it's not by itself. It's minus nine, isn't it? Okay. Oh, I tried ducking. Okay. Oh my god, I don't... I, hmm. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh. <sighs> Nice, good step. Again, good step. Okay, I didn't realize with the pushback. Nice. God. 
Minus 12. Remember, it's 2-3. 2-1 still punishes, but... Ooh. Thought that second hit would whiff. Okay. Okay, that was just something. Oscar hot kick. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, the trade shit. Okay. <clears throat> Final round for the promotion. Good start. Combos? GG's. Oh, man. That guy was... How's that guy Biako? I, I was here like, I'm going to, I'm going to lose. I'm going to D-rank. We made it there, though. Jesus. Okay, all right. Oh. Hello, Harish, Sam. I'm a Yoshi Me Too player. Shall we play a session match? It will be matches in PS4. I do not have this game on PS4. I'm sorry to say. No Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Will it get matches cross-platform? No, this game doesn't have cross-platform compatibility. Four, two, three. What? So what you do? Oh. Oh, that gives you five more damage. Huh. I'm just I'm trying to find a combo off of four two. Oh, there's one. Yeah, so four four two three. Down back one two. And then back four two three. That's seventy-eight. Okay. Oh god, what is this? This is his promotion match to purple ranks. Okay. Well, this is going to be bad. Terrible whiff punish. Good start. Okay. Oop. Um. All right. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, he did try moving. Oh, good step. 
Second hit. Okay, okay. Good duck. Let's just tackle him. Oh, wow. Ah, I tried punishing that a little bit too late. Okay. Good jabbing at me out of it there. Okay. Yeah, this guy does little steps. He does little steps into a move. Nice low parry, wow. Let's see if he, he fuzzied it. Okay, all right. Oh, good timing. Hello, Aqua. Nice, big counter hit. Good break. Wow. Oh my God. Four, four, two, three. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, I forgot about, no one uses that. I forgot about the counter hit there. Okay. The, the timing that he has is insane. All right. I think I'd be able to get him after a couple more, but you know what? He earned his promotion. Not bad. <clears throat> I figured out why I was stuttering that one day. Do tell. tricky there you go like that oh man you have to go a little bit farther yeah like that that does do significantly more damage because what I've just been doing is this yeah I haven't even been getting 50 Yeah, that's much better. Okay, I gotta try to do that. It's pretty easy too because it's the same for everything. It's just the forward forward input. Doing that at the right time, that's the tricky part. But it's not that bad. Don't know why I didn't check it earlier, but my SSD had like five gigs of space left. You know, maybe that's my problem because my, my, my SSD usually has like less than a gig left. The one I have the game installed on has 150, but my my OS drive that has that usually is around one gig. I deleted and moved a whole bunch of shit. Now I have 100 gigs of space left and I haven't had the issue since. I should probably do that then. That might help me. 
JWD rewatched the Jin trailer and noticed that the design of his jacket looks like wings. It's much more obvious when seeing him from behind or above. I'm gonna have to look at it then. I will fit from embracing his devil powers incorporating to his style. I, I'm, I will look at it again, and if that is true, I will revise my judgment. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Also, the same drive that the game is on, which is probably why mine has so much more glare. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, the OS drive, we're also having low space, would cause problems potentially too. Oh my god, Seth, it's three! I forgot about that mid that they gave him. Minus 10, isn't it? Ugh. Nice. Big damage. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. I tried to counter hit him with down forward, uh... With down forward one. Shit. Nice low. Wow, dude! Oh, man! Oh my god, I forgot he's high crushing in that. Dude! Okay. Oh my god. The side, the, the camera switch fucking kill. I couldn't get my punish because of the camera switch after he did that. I was going to rage drive him and I couldn't. How's your career? Is the best Oscar in Michigan going? It was going good. And then I lost against this lay. So not consistent, which I think is weird because I would get good games sometimes. I mean, it's the same for me too. That's just a Tekken thing. It's one of those things that's only noticeable when pointing out, gotcha. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Okay. More like that. More like that. Wow. Okay, this guy just throws out counter hit moves like it's no one's business. How the hell did I not get a duck? Okay. Oh. I, I wasn't looking at the screen. Nice.
That's what I get. How am I not getting a duck? I'm so pissed. I got robbed. I got fucking robbed. I did get a parry. Okay. How is this shit working? I just, I did, I just walked forward. Okay. All right, I got a new plan. I got a new plan, new plan, new plan, new plan. Oh my god, wait, you can't you can interrupt that? It has no interrupt window? The new plan is working. What? What's the new plan? He he quit. This motherfucker quit. He quit on a one-one. Cause I beat him, and he knew it wasn't gonna be an easy purple rank. Cause I dug his highs. God, f I fucking wait, wait, please. I swear to fucking God. <clears throat> Imagine leaving on a 1-1. One, one. I know, right? Like, then just li relieve when you promote. It's because he knew that if he kept going, I would demote him again. He knew. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. Because I still had a net loss in points there. Just win quit like a real man? Exactly! Man, hot kicked me for long enough. Hello, Ramito. Drop by sale. Great you are and support your stream. Keep up the hard work. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. That's really nice. Her hands look so stupid. <laughs> only, only a Miguel player could follow up such a sweet message with her hands look so stupid. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, JWD. Never change. <laughs> oh my god. gonna need to refill my water soon i forgot to do it before stream you you would think that with me having that starting soon screen before i start the stream that i would actually you know prepare for the stream 
Uh, no, I, I forget a lot of things sometimes. This is a 1100 win Master Raven Biako player. Okay. So when I, also uh, I, when I, when, when, to, when, I'm having a stroke. I get it's an open hand position, but it looks so uncomfortable. What about it? Pop up. Oh, what the hell happened to my inputs? I got two ones. Okay. Oh, okay, that's, that hurts. Uh oh, oh, I didn't duck it. Okay, good punish. Ah, okay, stop, please. That's minus 14. I don't know what Asuka does there though, because she has the high crushing. Oh my god, what a parry! Pop! Okay! Oh, I forgot the- I forgot what the last hit's supposed to be! That's an elbow! Woo! Woo! Damn, nice! I'm making a lot of noises right now. Pop him! Wow, what- good spacing. Okay. I just went for it. <laughs> He doesn't know how to launch it, though. Bop. Nice. That's big. Still don't know what the wall combo is. Escape from this. Okay, he did. Excuse me. Okay. How's this guy Biako, by the way? That's not one plus two break. Okay, that worked. <gasps> poor Raven player. What do you mean, poor Raven player? This guy's kicking my ass. Look at him. Nice. Oh, he didn't see it coming. Break the wall. Nice. He keeps doing the mid. No counter hit confirms for you. I never hit a button. Okay, I hit a button. Okay, that's a high. Okay. Nice. Blue stuff, more like no stuff. Up forward three. Low. Up forward three. One, two. That's a two, one. I... Uh, two, one, two, one, two, one, one plus two. Oh, come on. Let me get the joke. Let me, sir, <laughs> sir, I want to do the joke, sir. Knock, knock. <laughs> oh my God. I can't parry that. Two, one, two. I, I, I saw that as a grab. I saw the half circle back and I thought she was doing the grab. Nice. That's big. Step on her. I'm a real Asuka player now. Three plus four. Okay. That's fine. There you go. Why did I get one one again? Okay. Oh no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. Just hide. Here. It's fine. I'm okay. Pass <laughs> you made me a little. He what? No, he can't leave. That was fun. That was fun! Come on! Anyway, if if the hands on Oscar, the hands on Oscar should be more relaxed. Right now, the animation looks like straight up 2005, just like most second animations.
That's what, I mean, if anything, that's a compliment because this animation was from 2004, right? Hi, game. No fun is allowed, only one and dones, yeah. Well, no, it's it's lose quitting. It's specifically lose quitting. Let's not forget about the lay. If you play Brian, that low sequence would have killed. Yeah, but it, that means it wouldn't have been as funny. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Oscar play is at 3 a.m. But compare it to Lydia. What, like her pinkies bent? Yeah, Asuka, Asuka's fingers are bent too. Look at her ring finger. The rest of her fingers are straight, but her ring finger is bent <laughs> for some reason. They, they need to have all of the characters do more things like Yoshimitsu where their fingers move while they're idle. Is it just me or do, does Oscar's fingers look like french fries? Just me? Okay. Her hands do look terrible, they do. I can't, I can't even lie, they do. What kind of french fries are you eating? I'm, I don't eat french fries. I was gonna say McDonald's, but I haven't had McDonald's in... I don't know. A decade? What are McDonald's prices like now? Anyone know? How much does a cheeseburger cost at McDonald's nowadays? Last time I got a cheeseburger from McDonald's, it was on the dollar menu. Thinking pointing straight makes me think that she's going to launch them as missiles. Uh, Elisa, when she's in heat, her fingers become missiles. That was a terrible thing to do. I have a generic down forward foot. Okay, all right. That's what kind of game this is gonna be then, huh? Okay. That was him. The rollback is three. Nice. McDonald's prices are insane. A hash, a hash brown is three dollars. That shit used to be less than a dollar the last time I ate there. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Good counter hit. Bop him. Nice fuzzy duck, idiot. Got his ass. Okay, I didn't. But look, he's too scared to do anything in Zen. Ha ha ha, you thought that was that high. No, stop! Let me have my fun! Okay. Nice fuzzy duck. Oh, when they used to be two for a dollar, you wouldn't catch me dead at McDonald's today. Yeah, that. How how can anyone afford to eat at McDonald's if a hash brown is three dollars? That's insane. I thought I could launch that for a second. He's in a crouching state, Seth. I don't know how to combo off that. It's probably one plus four. God damn, I had the hard read as well. Launch me? He doesn't know. He doesn't know that's launch punishable. Okay, we're in a whole new world now. Look at this. Look, look, look at my counter hit. Get off me. No! My, that one plus two, I wasn't expecting. See, this is, this is why magic force being removed are good. Woo! Sidewall, I'm okay. I was, I was supposed to be down back three and I got back three. Did he? Did he order four? Is that the freeze that I saw? I hate ranked. Anyway. Oh, this is the Brian equivalent of you trolling that Raven player. Okay, let's see it.
Oh yeah, isn't this isn't this the um I I think I saw this. Isn't what isn't this the earth thing? Yeah it is. I've seen this. Okay. <clears throat> We've both had our our minute of fame on Reddit. You did a bunch of hatchet kicks. No, I gotta have the noise. Oh my god, the quality. 540p. Ah. Uh. Nothing beats that. Where's the, um... Hold on. And where's, where's the one that I had on here while I was, I was playing offline and then the jack player was recording it and I hit him back turn with boot three and killed him. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't know what this is, shit. Oh, well. I seen that clip. I think everyone saw that clip. That was me. I did that. I actually, the, the funny thing is too, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I did the three, because Yoshimitsu does the exact same thing. It's just Elisa's, Elisa's hitbox is on the three is smaller, right? So it doesn't work on a lot of characters, but Jack's a big boy. I don't know what you're talking about. That's why I'm trying to find the clip, but I don't think I can find it. I remember it was on the daytime Mishima building. Or G Corp building. That was the one. That's the one. You know, the helipad. G Corp helipad. That's the name of the stage. I don't remember anything about the title of it or anything, though, unfortunately, which is a shame. Anyway, I have no idea where the clip is. I need to start posting my clips on Reddit. Oh, hi, Sin. I need to stop posting my clips on YouTube. <laughs> I remember that clip and it was you. It was, yes. It was me. I was the Elisa player. Me. Because of course it was. If you see an Elisa player doing Yoshimisu shit, it's me or I musician. That's it. There's no one else. I was literally like, Seth, look at this shit. I, I do remember that. I couldn't remember if it was you or if it was someone else. <clears throat> I was like, oh yeah, that was me, smile. <laughs> I'm so happy about what, wait, uh, nerfed wake up kicks. I am too. Nerfed wake up kicks and nerfed hop kicks. At first I was like, mm, maybe, but Hearing other people talk about, I mean, there was one person in particular, I don't remember who it was, but there was one person in particular that was talking about, um, like the strength of like Magic 4s on offense, right? Because there's such a good defensive tool, you can do it offensively. And I was like, oh, now I get it. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Cause then I was thinking like, oh yeah. Cause if someone's in heat, and the opponent ever tries taking the turn. 11 frame magic for the dead. You know, and that's that's just too strong. That means that the defender can never like hit a button basically. Because any time that they would ever hit a button, there would be a huge risk of dying. I don't know what to do after the magic four. I'm not good enough for Tekken Reddit. The people on the Tekken subreddit aren't good enough for Tekken Reddit, okay? If you have if you have two functioning brain cells, if anything, you're already more mature than most people on the Tekken subreddit. Did the clip have Elisa in the title? I I do not remember at all. 
unfortunately. I, d I don't remember anything about it. I recognize this guy's profile picture. That's usually not a good thing. That's why it's 10, that's my 12 frame. Okay. Ah, I broke late. There you go, it's... Wow, I have a lot of time to do that. Ah. Oh. Didn't quite get it, but I still more damage than my normal combo. Dude, I'm breaking late. I'm breaking these throws, but I'm breaking them so late. Oh. Nice block. Okay. I was too far away to punish, I think. <laughs> chicken buffer that. You gotta. I know you're red rank, but you gotta learn the chicken buffer. Oh, fuck. I did it too early. Nice. Woo, there we go. Big combos. Bop him. Nope. Oh my god, I can't tell what's going on. D motherfucker! <laughs> how, how does no one know the chicken buffer? Come on, man. Just hold the button mash. Isn't that what you do in Red Ranks? Don't you just mash? Ah! I wanted to toe kick. I saw the back sway. He can't back sway fast enough, so it's telegraphed. <laughs> but <clears throat> okay. No punish. Uh huh. There you go. Oh, wow. Good timing. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay. Oh, don't roll. Don't do the correct thing. Everyone knows to roll. Get I can't tell what's going on with this rollback, man. I'm mad. I'm mad. That's minus 10, Seth. Okay, he didn't attack. Okay, we're out of there. <laughs> Do I play him again? I'll play him again. The connection feels really spotty, but I'll play him again. Bro, you can be dog shit. I just spammed hatchet kick and became a famous Brian player for two minutes. <laughs> hey, if they don't block the low, then who's the dog shit player? <clears throat> but you're on tech and reddit. You just insult yourself. I am not on tech and reddit. I don't use reddit at all in the first place Bop Okay Okay Bro, yeah, go on roll 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 I say I'll roll you back to the wall Side step right Good step to the wall. Bop, boop, boop. I don't even want the guaranteed follow up. Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right, all right. No more wake up kick war. 
Nice orbital. I was almost expecting him to do a wake up kick there. Like I said, I don't even want it. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that didn't work. Get off me. I thought that would punish. It's not as fast though. I'm used to Elisa's running too. So I just did that instead, but I pressed three instead and I was like, I'm going to punish him so hard. But that was 13 frames. <laughs> he doesn't even punish it. All right, just forward two there. Ooh, I'm fine. Check this out. Check this out. Ready, 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 ready. Okay, that's not what I meant. Ready, ready, ready. Just, if he's not gonna punish it, I mean, it's just like the hatchet kicks. If he's not gonna punish it and he's not gonna block it. Hi. Who said Soul Calibur is in the anime fire when cool shit like this can happen? The only people who say Soul Calibur isn't an anime fighter are anime fighting game players. And those people, you know, I'm not going to say anything because, uh, I got Blaze Blue players who watch this stream, but I'll watch this. Let's see the anime. He's out, right? He's not out? And by he, I mean you? The poor C. Dark Legacy, that's the Jack stuff right there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that gave me flashbacks to playing Tira when Soul Calibur 6 came out, because that would happen all the time. The cinematic effects combined to give that badass zoom in. I do like the, um, I like that when you do the CEs and stuff, the lighting on the particle effects for certain moves will illuminate the character. I think it does a lot. It looks really nice. Well, as the anime in Soul Calibur 6, check out this snipe. Well, this guy's gonna probably old F4 on me, so sure. Just a lot of us getting Tive Bowl. What? What does that even mean? Okay, I don't know what the plan there was, buddy, but. Try me. Okay, he did. And it worked. This guy is just. This guy's playing Tekken 8. Oh. This guy's playing Tekken 8. Oh, tail flip. You, you mean the air stun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get off me. Oh my god. This guy, he is... He's not happy. Okay. I went for it. I went for it. Because he's not going to chicken buffer. Look at his throw. He, you want to throw me? I can break those. You can. This is not a uh, war that you're going to ever win. Throwing me is one of the worst possible things that you could try doing. Case in point. Oh, for fuck's sake. If I just blocked the second hit, I would have won with the punish, but I wanted to be funny and just... No, I'm not... You're not JWD. Calm down. Anyway, that was quick.
Oh man, I wanted him to get it. I knew it. I knew he was going to do it. I'm not letting him do it. Okay. I'm just watching all of these videos now. I really am a React streamer now, huh? Ew, as well. <laughs> Huh? Excuse me? It oh! Wow, that's probably the only frame of this move where that can actually happen. You would have got hit otherwise. I forgot that even... I forgot that even can hit at her back. Cause, cause this part of the animation, this part of the move is like what acted for one frame. That's so stupid. I'm just a genius. It was all calculated. I did the geometry and everything. Well, based on, based on my calculations in Based on my calculations, at this moment in the game, if I- Oh, for fuck's sake, what just happened? If I decide to jump in the air and go- Oh, fuck, that line isn't big enough. And I decide to go this way, I need- I need a- I need a bright color. This will work. And I decide to go this way, and my opponent goes this way. I will then fall this way. This is why. So what I need to do instead is I need to hit seven. Seven will give me a trajectory like this, and then it will put me like this. So when he is here, I would be behind him. But his big spitty move will hit me here. So I need to do this when the clock is 21 seconds. Because when it is 21 seconds, my hitbox will be here. And I will be here. While Aswell's attack will be here. And Aswell himself will be here. And then he will Die! Ah, 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 ah. Is that is that your thought process, Aqua? Was that what was going through your head? Hmm. Is that what was going on? Asuka Kazama. More like bird leap go zoom. Okay, well at least at least you're not pretending. I have some SC videos, but none of them are worth a damn. Get ready for the next battle, battle. Um, just do a reverse ledge and get a time machine and go back in time to five years ago. Mighty rule of Paul was <laughs> Okay. Alright. How many times do you think this guy's gonna do three two? Paul with no wall as well. I never noticed that his belt says Phoenix on it. Okay. All right, interesting option there. You know. Okay. What was that one supposed to do? I got fucked. How am I getting so many bad inputs? Damn it. Wow, that back sway actually made it whiff. Oh. Let's just do it. Purple ranks don't duck. 
dude. Okay. I don't remember. Wow. <gasps> nice. There you go. Okay, dude. I. I, I ah, what? I blocked. I was. I was honest to God, expecting him to heat dash there. <laughs> I'm so used to it at this point from seeing the trailers. Okay, I need the chicken buffer. Oh my. How many times did I get hit by Death Fist? Get ready for the next battle, 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 battle. How did my Tekken prowess go up? <laughs> More than once? One too many. Why is the wall so dark? What is- what's happening with the lighting? Is Zeus going to strike us? You know, I just noticed the seam on the background of Infinite Azure. I don't like it. I... I... Okay, all right. <laughs> The <laughs> shadow was crazy. It's just like Soul Calibur 6. Boop, boop. Wow. He can delay that for that long? That actually- that, that's the combo? Okay, I, I accidentally did that. Diary of a Madman. I got two caught on my response to that. Okay. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. It worked! Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I'm not that crazy, okay? The Lily players can't be mad at- How's this guy purple ranks? This guy should be like... Tekken God. God break? I broke one plus two. Good block. Nice. Good punch, Perry. <laughs> Just don't fuck this up. Okay. <sighs> Outplayed, honestly. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till that's a minus 13. <laughs> He's just outplayed. He just DP'd. Outplayed. <laughs> oh my god. He really hates his wall. Now the, now the weird lane was on the other side of the wall. What is going on? Uh, will you react? Am I really just a react stream and now is that it? I put a few videos on YouTube. And now this is what I am. I've become everything that I hate. Okay. That works. He didn't even cancel it. Hey! That's a soul cow, but that's my game! I 
I don't know if the combo works off axis, okay? Okay. Why didn't I launch that? Okay, I'm not gonna let him rage on me again. Is this really just the beginning of jokes about Paul getting rage? My God, Seth, launch it. I didn't believe him. Okay. This is 7,000 win Paul. Get off me. I was breaking that before you were even born. Might actually literally be true. I think I knocked down normal hit. I got this, I got this, step, step. Okay, that's a punish. Bop. Fuck. Okay, counter hit. Will he roll? <laughs> okay, he's not in rage anymore. Oh my God. Every time. That's like a setup for him. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep... Let's... I hate rain so much! <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll react. What else am I going to do? Play against someone who immediately quits because they fucking lose. Uh, please do not nerf Paul. Okay. Let's be honest, I knew he was going to leave. Like... <laughs> what the hell was that? Spell the optimism gone. Oh my god. He's Emperor! Is this on PS4? I know I'm one to talk when I got hit by it, but. Okay. Alright. No. So I go to the beginning of the video. Okay, I'm taking your fucking points. I'll do it, but I'm taking your points this time. Dude. <laughs> I, 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 like it says, I, I will only take your points if your video was bad. If you, if you make me go to a different point in the video, I'm taking your points. That's bad. Hey, old man. Give me everything. Oh, oh, a cool yeah, there's the rage, cool the rage. Ambulance. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, give me your fucking points. Let me gobble them. Huh? Besides, I should have taken your points like a week ago for the one that you sent me without paying the points. And I looked at it. I said you're lucky it didn't use points to redeem it. Hello? What is this move on block? Should I be using this move? How do you ultimate tackle? I thought it was 30 plus 4, 30 plus 4, 1 plus 2. I'm gonna look it up. Asuka. Asuka ultimate tackle. 
Oh, it's down four, three plus four, three plus four, one plus two. Okay. You have to be back turn and playing Talum. Okay. I have all S. Wow. And now I'm playing against the Marduk. Ooh. Why do I have to be matched against the Marduk? Is he even here? Did he ult F4? That's 140 wins. I wouldn't be surprised. He ult F4. No, I got it. Okay. This is a win. What? Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Insane move. Nice. Oh, I forgot about that. Ah. Seth, will you react? No. Okay, I'm not playing this guy again. This three frames of rollback and I, I, I actually couldn't break the, or couldn't duck the high. Holy shit. I, I, dude, I can't see what he's doing. I can't see what grabs he's doing or anything. What? What? I got f I got fucking robbed. Holy shit. I keep forgetting about that. Thank you. Someone say react, time to find a vid. No, 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 please. Nice. Dude, I keep forgetting. Nice. Ah. Oh. I'm reacting to it. I'm insane. Dude. I, I kept trying to do up four and three and it wasn't working. I'm so pissed. Like I couldn't react to the, the mix up, but I couldn't do like anything to actually counter the tackle. Just hop kick. I was. I, I literally was. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's so stupid. I got robbed on two rounds. I got robbed when I avoided his rage drive and then did three plus four and it whiffed for no reason. And then I kept trying to hot kick him after breaking the tackle and it j I just couldn't. Like it just didn't work. It was the rollback, man. That guy's connection was terrible. I need to get a fan real quick, hold on. Like the problem is I can only react to the, the mix up so many times, right? Odd. I wonder if Mar Marduk stole that from him or Dampierre stole that from Marduk.
Well, Mar no, Marduk has had that since, um... Marduk has had that since Tekken 4, right? He's always had ultimate tackle, so... Okay. Can we also ask the question why Ultimate Tackle has a one frame break window? Why is that? Not Tackle itself doing it from the ground. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually don't know. I don't know if he's always had that or not. Hold on. I want to I wanna go in the practice mode and look at this. I want to make sure I was doing the right thing. Where is he, Marduk? Here. Craig Marduk. Get ready for the next battle. 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 So, how do you do it? Yeah, this. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get this so that works properly, but... Oh, did I have to wake up kick him? Oh, that's so stupid. Is that the only way to actually avoid this? Like, it's impossible to actually practice this. Um, can I have him on a controller? Would that work? Okay. So, like that and then that. Okay. So... Oh, that's right. I forget it switched. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I think I do have to do a wake-up kick. That's so stupid. Why? Hopefully that works. It's so annoying that you can't really practice this as well. Hopefully that works. Yeah, see, this is what I was doing. That's exactly what I was doing. And it should work. Like that. Unless I have the timing slightly off. I'm pretty sure this is the fastest I can do it. Oh my god. Nope. He's actually doing it too slow there. Sorry, I'm 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 like I'm caught up on this, but it's like really I really want to know if I got fucked or not. Okay, that is what you're supposed to do. Okay, that's exactly what I was doing. Every time I broke the tackle, I was doing this. And it, it just didn't work. That's okay. All right, cool. So I just got completely wrong. Like, I could have hot kicked. That would have been better. But I'm not crazy. That is what you're supposed to do. I just got completely robbed. Like, I was mashing up forward three. And it just, it, it didn't work a single time. Okay. Asuka Kazama. That's so dumb. All right, whatever. You shall lay down five 
Oh, yeah, I should see if, like, this works off axis. It does. Okay, that's good to know. Hi. In Tekken 4, Tackle wasn't a problem. Well, that's because Jin existed. Monarch's Tackle has never been a problem because Monarch has never been good until Tekken 7. It's like in the same way that Elise's plus on block dive kick hasn't ever been a problem because Elise has never been good in Tekken or Tekken 7. Well, Tekken in general. But if Elisa was good, that dive kick would absolutely be a problem, you know? All right, no, nah, Brian player. God. All right. Red rank aggression. Wow. Oh my God, it's forward two, not forward forward two. Wow, that actually caught me. I didn't know the pushback. How do you punish that move then? If that's a mid. Okay. This Brian is doing a lot of moves that I haven't ever seen a Brian do before. Wow, he does orbital a lot, huh? Oh my god. It's minus 13, I know, but I'd rather I'd ra I'd rather just do the down one plus two because he's not gonna block it and get the Oki. Oh wait, no, but I have four two, that's right. Mm. Or two four rather. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting about that move. Okay, it's fine. Huge, good wall conversion as well. Nice. Really good round. There you go. Now, we, oh! and they say Tekken is, a is it an anime game? I'm so pissed. First a Mardic, now this shit? Are you kidding me? Okay. Good block. Wow, he's still blocked low. There you go. What a comeback. All right, I should have died twice when he blocked my low twice, but. All right. And maybe tag two. Like I like I've said in the past, I've I skipped tag two, so I don't know anything about that game's balance. I know I know nothing about that game in general. Nowadays, I wish I could play it. Like it seems like it would be a, a fun game to mess around with, you know. I'm I'm getting myself too close to the wall here against Brian. Okay. I. Too ambitious. Okay. Bad combo, but it worked. I was scared to try launching him for obvious reasons. It's three. It's not 
two, it's three, it's three, it's three, it's three, it's three. There you go. Hey, wall conversion as well. What the fuck is this lag? Four or two would have been guaranteed there, right? I'm not sure. I broke light. I broke really light. I don't know what he's thinking with the with the snake edge. I'm seeing that a lot today in red ranks, and I'm I don't get it. Why are people snake edging? That's why they're snake edging. I get it now. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that is guaranteed. Okay, that's what I thought. Maybe for high crush. This man thinks I'm just going to throw it a high like that, because I will, but. God damn it, dude. Every single time. I know I left the mod, but that connection was terrible. Well, snake edge attacks reactions, but it hasn't worked out once for him. It hasn't worked out once for anyone. He's not the only one to be throwing out snake edges against me today. Pretty much everyone I play against that has a snake edge has used it. Maybe it's because they think I'm, I'm an Oscar player. I'm a real Oscar player that just unga bungas and doesn't know how to hold the block button when I'm playing a defensive character. Maybe if I was playing Kazuya, they would respect me more. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes Kazuya hard. <laughs> uh, Seth, let's not go down this rabbit hole again. Okay, okay, I won't, I won't. This guy's a 76 win mighty ruler with less than 200,000 attacking prowess. How's that even, how's that even possible? Because this would be a secondary, right? Presumably. Cheater. King Blake. <laughs> Good point. Good point. He just does giant swing. And chain grabs. And that's how he got to Mighty Ruler. Makes sense. Ah, did he ult F4? Oh my god. Dude, everyone, everyone I'm playing against today has been just the worst. Just the worst. Dude, he actually all- Okay, no, he didn't. He's just playing on a computer from 2007. Okay, he did the sidestep into a move immediately thing. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? I didn't see the grab. I was trying to parry. I got so fucked. His input got buffered and I couldn't crouch it. That was his computer too. Dude, I can't I can't break the grabs on this connection. His computer's actually from 2002. Off range. I actually can't parry any of that. Nice. Good read. <sighs> Dude, his computer is so bad. He's not running the game at 60 FPS. Like, I can feel the frame drops. Jesus. Dude, I can't I can't duck anything. Like everything that I do, every input that I try doing just just gets eaten. Like I tried ducking that, that high and blocking low. Like I was 
I was holding uh, down back while he was doing when he did the high, and I couldn't block the low. You know, like it's crazy. Like 1992 explains all wins. It does, yeah. Like you can play against him. He's playing the game at like at 50 FPS, and his connection's bad. I thought I was going to run and do grab, so I tried crushing it. <clears throat> Dude, wow! Thank you. Oh my god. His ping is fluctuating so much as well. This guy's playing on a power line adapter and his house was built in the 40s. Dude, his ping, the ping there just went from like 120. The ping there went from like 120 to like 30 and then back to 100 and then back and then down to 60. <laughs> Whatever, I beat him. That was that was crazy. See, it's, I, I say this time and time again, but I'm going to keep saying it. This is why power line adapters are not the solution a lot of the time. This guy has 33 hours, okay. That king had 33 hours, yeah, right. <clears throat> Because if you have a power line adapter in your house, the the elect the electrical wiring was done in like the 70s, it's worse than Wi-Fi. And on top of that, if you're playing on your mom's laptop, another 6700 wind Paul, this is a different one. No, it's the same one. Never mind. This is the same one. All right, I'll get my revenge. Oos. Really gotta launch that. I thought that was gonna whiff. No punish. Oh my god, terrible punish. I could have launched him. Nice. Ooh, wake up kick, huh? Blackie King does well in ring, two would have thought. Man, little did we know that King was actually the easiest character to play. No. I could have just parried it. Like, he's not gonna chicken buffer, look. He's a purple ring. Purple ranks don't chicken buffer. Why weren't I just parry? Okay. See, that's what I thought was going to happen last time. Okay, I went for it. Yeah, good punish. Okay, that's just rude. Oh my. Why did I down forward two keep whiffing? I even delayed it that time after the step and it whiffed. Wow. Weird combo. Fair. Oh my god. <sighs> that moves launch punishable and he just he just did it like three times and it worked all every time. That's kinda bullshit.
Okay. Wow. Dude. I tried parrying that. I, I broke the tackle and I was mashing one. That's like a one plus two break for some reason, which it might be because it, it goes right into the ground. I I don't know. I don't know how that ultimate tackle works with Paul at all. I don't know how the grab breaks or anything work. Again? Wow. Oh my god, again? Dude. Okay. My god, press three. Good whiff punish. Okay. All right, we're back in it. We're back in it. If we win this, even if he leaves on a 1 1, we still get. It's still in that positive in points. Okay. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my. He keeps. He, that's a flow shot. That's a flow shot, and I keep falling for it. Nice. You know, I, I delayed the down one plus two because I thought I was going to do Rage Art on Wake Up, and he delayed the Rage Art. How can you compete with that? Wow. Oh my god. One plus two. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Death fist down. I was actually scared I was gonna get launched for some reason. I was going to scared it. I was scared it was going to tackle instead for some reason. Dude, every time a Paul does that move, I cr tried crouching. Oh my god! How did I not get a duck? Okay. That wasn't counter hit. Bullshit. Dude, you charged in, you didn't chicken buffer. What? Okay. So, the, the charge dead fist, I can't parry it? Because I tried parrying and I got hit. I gotta look at that. Because the parry doesn't have startup frames, right? It's just. It's it's frame one, right? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I got this. If he keeps playing, this is my purple rank. I got it. Let's get to the wall here. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Seth, it's three. It's three for God's sake, Seth. Okay. Mm. I didn't think I was in range to down forward two there, actually. Which I probably wasn't considering that whiffed as well. Nice. Oh, that. Okay. My gods have launched it. <laughs> I launched it once. Okay, so that is like a one plus two break then, because I was definitely mashing one again. 
Weird. Seth, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. It's just as a fast move and I'm like, I gotta respond to it. Mm. Nice. That was a weird interaction. Oh my god. Okay. There you go. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to punish. Just punish him. One more. He did a set. Okay, he did a set. I'm, I'm, it's more me this time than anything that I'm upset. So just play the last game. It's my rank up game. Come on. Come on. Don't make me play against the shitty Marduk again. This guy's a 2% disconnect rate. What do you think the chances are I beat him and he disconnects before my rank up? To Nina? Okay. Zero. I'll hold you to that. There's a 2% chance of that. Thank you, Gabe. Oh, that puts it on the ground. I tried doing three plus four and I got counter hit before the the jump frames. Okay. Ah, oh. not what I meant to do. I'll say one K that A plugs it just beats you. At this point, yeah. Nice. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, they never ducked the high. While I was crouching? That's weird. It's guaranteed, huh? <clears throat> okay. What? <clears throat> that was crazy. Oh my god. Dude, I can't see your hands with those black gloves. Okay, I'm gonna play someone else. 1K well bet. Dude, I, I she grabbed me so much and I actually couldn't see her hands because her black gloves and arms blended in with the rest of her um her thing. Her customization. I, I could not see her hands at all. Like the one plus two grab and the one grab and everything just looked the same because it was all black. That was ugh. The stage also helped. Yeah, the dark stage too, yeah. New tactical advantage found. New? You remember when Dragonov, you can make him Vanta Black? That's not new. I mean, Jesus, that's why the Jack and Gigas, uh, cut the presets are banned in tournament. It's for the exact same reason, because you can't see the grabs. Like, that guy legit just saw my promo game and just grabbed me to death because I, I, the grabs became a complete guess with that outfit. That's really annoying. And it was Suzaku as well, so I lost a fuck ton of points because of that. That's really shitty. That's really, really shitty. That's my girl. What, the one that cheats by using a shitty all-black custom outfit so that you can't see the grabs? That's what you like Nina for, huh, Sin? All right. It's 
so fucking annoying. That's so annoying. I'm actually just pissed. That's so stupid, because as soon as I saw it being him and he knew I could beat him, he just ran in and grabbed me, because it was just a guess. It's so fucking dumb. Kazama. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Okay. All right. We suffered a minor setback, but we can still do it. I put Nina since Tekken 5, okay? No, 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 it's not you playing, Nina. It's you saying, that's my girl with that specific Nina. <laughs> that Nina was borderline cheating. That's my girl. <laughs> Your nightmare has begun. Fight. That Nina was like a, like a Kazuya player using a cross-up. Like, it's not really cheating, but at the same time, I want to say it's cheating because it makes me feel better about myself, you know? I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to run into a wall. <clears throat> Nina can still drown, honestly. <laughs> it's just surprising you would say that. Being the resident Ivy player here. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Nice. Damn, that works. Ow. Right, that one's to grab. Okay. I'm the Ivy player too. Yeah, you think I like Nina? I used to, but she's a bitch for no reason. True. I don't like Ana or Nina, but Ana is just objectively better. Sorry, Sin, but it's true. If I win, well played. If I lose, obviously my opponent cheated. That is the that is the times that we're in now, huh? I don't know Armor King's chain th throw breaks. Got it anyway. Oh my god, the th fucking rollback! I should, have just, I should have just done the front couch move. Prefer getting launched 50 50 over playing versus Nina? Oh, yeah. At least Ana is a cool character. He didn't do the shoulders in the shoulder guaranteed. God. Damn, the reach on that. Okay, all right. All right. Forgot about that new move. Again? If I saw a Miguel player, 
abusing lag and using the taunt, then I'd be proud. They just play PS4. They're all over PS4. I do main honor. She'd better be in Tekken 8. I do wonder if she will. I don't know. I'd say she's one of the less likely characters, but I was here to have a good time. That's my favorite part about her. 100%. I can't trust these players, man. I gotta look. See, every time, every time in red ranks, for whatever reason, if you wait for them, they will they will just attack you. Like, if they're AFK, you should just hit them. Honestly, it's at, it's so fucking stupid. They don't even wait for you in ranked. They just, they just take advantage of your kindness. It's, I hate it. Wow. I forget the armor move is safe. I gotta use that more. It's really strong. Okay. Oh my god, I was low parrying. What the hell? Good block. Okay. Dude. Oh my god. Okay. Dude, I can't react to that. Oh, okay. That down back four is, is an actual low. Like, I cannot react to it at all. It's fucked. I mean, then again, no one can react to, um... No one can react to down one plus two online. So, I don't really have that much room to talk. The one time I reacted to it, that's all that matters. Antaiwa. Alright, we did it. We got to purple. Whew! That took a long time. The amount of one and dones, people hate Asuka, huh? People do not like Asuka, but we got there. Let's see. We have 62 wins, 89 battles. It's I started at 4364. So that was 35 games and uh, 19 wins. Asuka down one plus two is 20 frames. No one can react to it. Oh, I can react to it. If you, if I'm on a really good connection playing against Asuka, I can react to it, but it's hard. It's really hard. I don't know how it is on PS4, though. On PS4, it might not be reactable. I have no idea. But on PC, if I'm playing on a really good connection, I, I can react to it. Ivy, honestly, is the only IVS character I play now that I think about it. I guess that does make sense, because you play more tier ask players, right? <clears throat> We've had Nina store spot in G Corp, so I'm curious to see what they do with Ana. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, yeah, I mean, she could be part of the story. I mean, maybe that's part of the reason why she looks like Ana is because she's intentionally trying to make herself look like Ana. So, um, if someone tries, like, if someone knows that she looks like Ana, she can essentially use Ana as a double, and and then someone will kill her sister instead of her. It's called the kindness game community. What matters in the fights? Who's left net standing? Nothing else. Our least favorite house loop enthusiast. Don't, don't quote Kazia in this stream. <sighs> okay, 
Okay, now what? I'll play after dinner if you care to. We'll see if I'm still playing Tekken. Oh, I gotta refill my water. It's been two hours. I need to take a break. I need to stand up and stretch. I'll be right back. Give me a couple minutes. I'm back. So I keep asking. You're fine. Don't worry about it. No big deal. I just had an idea. And by I, ha I just had an idea, I mean I saw this and I, I, I've forgotten for the past like two streams to, to watch this. But. Um. There's a video that I saw. Because apparently I'm a React channel now. Suffer with Bob? Okay, I will suffer with Bob. After, after this. At least it gives me a character to play. So. I'll, the, the good old, good old watch mojo. And he used the expensive one, yeah, the three win streak one. You know, every time that, that Moose does this, for some reason, I just get the three win streak right away. I was going to I was going to play Brian. Cause I I I I gave you your points back from last time, but now if you're making me suffer of Bob, I'll just play Bob. Maybe Bob will be the next character I get the Propa ranks. That'll be next time though. I already got Oscar this time. Like the only person I trust to play that isn't just just do the thing, smile. <laughs> just win, smile. That's why we do the 1000 point one. Yeah, the 10,000 point one is a scam, honestly. You're, you're basically gambling 10,000 points for a chance for me to just get mad playing the character for an hour. 
but you it could be it could be over even faster than just spending a thousand points it really is a scam <laughs> but that's why it's there take the points anyway um i'll do that after after the 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 video i'm gonna watch to break up the the game also i want to take a break from tekken because fuck tekken um so uh, a good friends at watch mojo put up a put up a new video about fighting games um this one is the 10 greatest tekken characters from mojo place so i'm you know yoshimitsu is in the first second uh I'm going to move myself over here while I move the microphone on. Um, I'm definitely going to complain about this very heavily. Oh, God. Oh, it's this side. Oh, that's weird if I have it over here. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah. I'm going to make fun of this really hard. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. My name is Ty. Hello. Plays, and today we're counting down our picks. Do they have subtitles? Tekken characters. Um, you can turn on sub. Oh, there it is. For this list, we're taking a look at the KO. And most ferocious fighters in Bandai Namco's franchise. Did your favorite? He said Bandai list? Namco your correctly. Damn. Your main. Share with us in the comments below. Except he yeah. actually did. And it's Bandai Namco. And he said Bandai Namco, like I say it for some reason. <laughs> now, who's ready for some good ass Tekken? Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long. No. What better way to start the video off than with everyone's oh, favorite is number ten Heihachi? Confident grandpa. Whether he's playing the hero or the villain, Heihachi has proven I, time and again that no one can get the I mean, I think uh, it, no matter what we want to say about Heihachi, Heihachi is objectively top five because of the, the, the role that he plays in the story of every Tekken game. Even if Heihachi's strength is vastly overrated and he's kind of a pushover in the story because the only time he actually does literally anything is Tekken 2. And every other Tekken game, he gets the shit beaten out of him and he does absolutely nothing. Them. Although we'd argue against that given how many times we've defeated him. He's playing in treasure battle. <laughs> He's playing. He, he has Not footage from treasure battle. Brute in combat, but his antics outside of fighting can get a little cartoonish. Seriously, strapping cartoonish. He's like a Disney villain. Space is one of the most loony he drops Kazuya in a volcano and then ah, hey, ah, ah, as he flies away on a helicopter. He'll get his bear to do it. Yeah. The dude's crazy. Bro, Takazi is too travel for him to a near draw just to get called a pushover. Yeah, I mean he is. What the? What has he done outside of Tekken Two? Like, yeah, hey, Hachi beat Kazuya in Tekken Two, but Paul tied with Kazuya as well. So, it, I, like, in Tekken 2, Kazuya was also pretty weak. Caught a bullet with his teeth. Yeah, it's like the only thing that he hasn't done except just die. And then come back to life. Anyway, shall number shall. 9. Shall. As much as I like Shao, no. Shao. Shao is such a side character, it's crazy. She only has connection with three other characters in. Te well, okay, four other characters in Tekken. She has connection to Wong, Heihachi, and like some endings in some ways, Jin, obviously, and Yoshimitsu. That's it. She and and three of those four characters are like like Yoshimitsu is just like Yoshimitsu saved her in Tekken 4. That's it. That that that's it. Wong? Who cares about Wong except for me? Um Hey Hachi is like something that just kind of happens in the stories with the Mishima Saibatsu, so like the endings, but like in the actual 
game? In the actual game story? Nothing. Oh, Claudio, sorry. She, like, talked to Claudio for two seconds in her Tekken 7 ending. And then, like, with Jin, it's just, like, she can't even fucking find Jin. What the hell does she even do? For the, in the story. She does nothing. You. She's just there. When Heihachi isn't throwing family members off cliffs or into active volcanoes, he's training young Ling Xiaoyu, a Chinese what? girl. What are you? Ha what? Where did they get this information? I want names. I want fucking names. Who the fuck told this guy that Heihachi trained Xiaoyu? I, I, I want a fucking name. Who? The her grandfather Wong trains her. Heihachi? who managed to take down an entire squad of Mishima Zaibatsu soldiers before meeting Heihachi. No, she didn't! What are you talking about? What? What, what is he talking about? <laughs> she... So when she was 15, she single-handedly took down a group of Mishima Zaibatsu so- What is he on? Since going under his tutelage, the quirky and adorable Ling has shown just how lethal she can really be, with her exceptional mobility, making her incredibly hard to read. No, she doesn't deal massive blows when compared to her mentor, but her variety of stances turn her into a total threat. She's really going, he's really going in on Hei- Like, just think about this logically. Does Shao do a single thing that's like Heihachi? No. She, she uses the same martial arts as Wong. I- I- ah! God help you if you fight her while she's with her big and fuzzy friend, Panda. Oh, thank God. For a second, I thought I was going to say Kuma. I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu is all the eight! I'm... I want fucking na Who wrote this? I want a name. I know it's at the beginning, but that's just the person talking. Who was the script writer? I want a name right now. Oh God, what dumb shit is he going to say about Yoshimitsu's story? Okay, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. What is this because sequence? every fighting game needs a mysterious ninja or samurai warrior. And of them all, Yoshimitsu is arguably the deadliest. And the trolliest. True. Whether you like That's the true. demonic Yoshimitsu or the recent Lovecraft-esque appearance in Tekken 7, one cannot deny just how cool this mysterious guy is. Yoshimitsu is so fucked up that they're not even talking about his story. Sure, many other sword wielders can teleport, slice up foes, and do so with great speed, but how many of them can helicopter their katana around, hmm? Or walk on their swords like a pair of stilts? Exactly. No one can. No, this is definitely no an example of this. Let me think. Nah, I got nothing, actually. ...of Yoshimitsu. And if you somehow do, he will make sure to take you down with him. Harakiri-san, great for trolling, not so great for frequent use. <laughs> Lydia Sobieska. I, you, you all know I love Lydia, but no, are you? Okay. One, we're, we're saying that Lydia we don't even know what the rest of the characters are, but we're saying that Lydia is a, a greater and more iconic character than Heihachi and Yoshimitsu. 
Watch Nina be number one. It's no, it's going to be Leroy. Leroy is going to be number one at this point. Um, two. This character doesn't have a story. This is a Tekken Eight character. She doesn't. She doesn't even have a, a story. No, no one plays this character. She's a bottom five character at this point. Like, if we're talking about the greatest Tekken characters, Lydia's at the bottom. I'm sorry, I love Lydia, but, like... Huh? Okay, let's, let's listen to him. Let's listen to him. Let's, let's listen. Let's listen. I'm, I'm confused and upset. This is stupid. I, I, I swear to God, they just picked a random character and then put it on the list. Game. Lydia Sobieska probably has the most impressive business card out of them all. Here we have a tw No, she doesn't. Yoshimitsu, Eihachi, Kazuya, Jinpachi, Wang Jinrei, like... Lars? Jin? most the most impressive she's the head of state just like Jin and Kazuya and Heihachi and Nina for a bit Jesus fuck Dragonov it's Dragonov what Lee got bad yeah Lee has a bad business card he wouldn't study the broad learned English like huge businessman in Japan and America is basically leading in, and directly aiding in a rebellion. Can repair like very complicated robots. Jesus, fucking Doc Bosconovich made fucking ICBMs for the Soviet Union in the 40s. Invented like cryosleep to preserve Elisa in the 70s was part of the prototype Jack project for the Soviet Union, the Jack project for Russia, to make humanoid WMDs. For, like, brought his daughter back to life. Literally was able to do resurrection, was able to make perpetual motion machines. Jesus, even Abel brought Brian back to life. Wait. Uh, clearly, Miguel deserves this spot since he's a stronger rifle than Hua Rong. <laughs> uh, didn't each of the Mishimas take over the world at one point or another? Yeah, they did. PM of Poland can say, yeah. Yeah. I like Kazuya is at it, the point. This point, Tekken Eight is has declared war on the entire world, and he's winning. <laughs> like, twenty-nine-year-old karate master who also serves as the prime minister of Poland. Wow, words, who cares? She'll most likely humiliate you in a political debate as well. It is odd to see the leader of a nation participate in something like the King of Iron Fist tournament. Do I even need to comment on what he just said? Is that is there even a need to say anything about that? Well, apparently she's chosen to fight because good old granddad Heihachi is occupying Poland with some of his troops. He is not occupying Poland! He threatened to invade Poland! Just like fucking Russia! Just outside oh, the Soviet Union! That's the point! It's supposed to be- it, it's supposed to be a callback to- 
it could be a callback to a lot of things because Poland has been invaded many times. There's the partition of Poland in the 1700s. Then there was the poland russian War that broke apart the partition. Then there was World War II where Germany and the Soviet Union invaded Poland. But it's supposed to be like that. That's the point is because Poland has a history of occupation and other countries invading them and then being able to fight them off. Because unlike what you learn in fucking school about Poland, because for some reason, the, the entire Western world wants you to believe this shitty propaganda from World War II that Poland was a pushover to make the Nazis seem like they were a lot stronger than they were to get more people to support the war. That's why you always hear, oh yeah, Poland, like, Poland fell in a day to Nazi Germany. No, motherfucker, Poland held those dumbasses off and they probably would have won if the Soviet Union didn't invade them from the other side. And Poland has a history of this, of, of multiple countries coming together to invade them. No one giving a shit about them and ignoring them. And then them being occupied for like 100, 200 years. You know, like even after World War II ended, they were occupied by the Soviet Union for 60-ish years. Partition of Poland was between the, the mid to late 1700s and 1919. Like, that's the point. Is because she's Polish, because this shit happens all the time, it gives a, like, a, a, a logical reason and it is, it's more in line with the character because of the history of the country, right? Like, when someone who is Polish or understands the history of Poland for the past couple hundred years, then, like, something like that is a lot more serious than it would be if we're talking about fucking Spain. You know what I mean? But they actually didn't fucking invade and occupy Poland. What the fuck are you talking about? Occupy Poland. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm, I'm losing my mind because the story is a little bit more like personal to me, you know? Yeah, bright idea. Lydia isn't having it, and she aims to try and talk with him, but something tells us Grant- That's is not- What? Where did you get this information from? The- the- the letter, Heihachi said- Like, you even brought up the letter. So you read- you read what it fucking said. How do you fuck it up this bad? The letter said, I'm going to invade the country unless you participate in the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. That's what it said! You're already in to just move on? No, because this is a completely different point. Now it's going past just like, oh, like a slight mistranslation or a slight misreading, and it's full on just wrong. Like he knows about the letter, but no one bothered to read the fucking letter. He's about to get floored. No, no, no. Christy Montero. This foxy Brazilian is more than just a pretty face. Christy will juggle you to hell with her sick capoeira abilities, and she does it in style. Even though she's really just a copy of another capoeira fighter in the series, Christy deserves way more attention than some would believe, and we aren't just saying that for her occasionally flirty behavior. You win. <laughs> Christy does all that she can to protect her grandfather, and has shown care for that other capoeira warrior on multiple occasions. See, she's a total sweetheart. They don't even know Eddie's name. Nina Williams. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Look, if you want an assassin dressed in a flirty yet classy outfit, then by all means, go with Anna Williams. But if you want someone with looks that could kill, Nina is the way to go. The blonde bombshell has been serving up cans of whoop-ass since the first Tekken back in 1995, and since then she's appeared in every game in the franchise, and even got her own spin-off game, Death by Degrees, which... 
isn't exactly great, but you know, how many other This guy's way too game? into the female characters. Got history. Is the Miguel player. Okay, where do I even start? Christy number fuck Christy. I'm not even saying this because of Christy fans. This is just genuinely true. Of all of the Tekken characters, Christy is on the same level as Miharu. She is. She does nothing. She has never done anything. She slapped Eddie. She is a clone of Eddie. How? Like, how can you say that that Christy in any way is better than Eddie? I'm also just going to again point out that that means that Christy is greater than Heihachi and Yoshimitsu. I And then Nina, Nina, I can see in the top 10, but this high, Nina should have been like eighth. If we're saying, I mean, yeah, she had her own spinoff game. Sure. Like I can see her being in the top 10, but this high, Especially with the characters that have been in here already, like Xiao and Lydia. Oh my god, I'm gonna see Shaheen next. Jesus Christ, I'm going to see Shaheen next. You win. Isn't it past your bedtime? Eddie Gordo. What do you want? There he is, the OG Capoeira fighter. Since his uh, debut in Tekken 3, Eddie has served as the perfect I mean, fighter at least, for those who at want least to he's saying that senseless. Eddie is better than Christy, but... Huh? ...while pulling off sick poses. That isn't to say Eddie has the personality of a showboat. Huh. That's more Heihachi's speed, wouldn't you say? Well, please Eddie shares talk. one of the most heart-wrenching stories about the story. in Tekken, Due to his will they won't they relationship with Christy. Yeah, they're almost akin to Ross and Rachel and friends. Uh, what the fuck is he talking about? I thought I thought he was actually going to talk about Eddie's story. But no. Then he just said that he feels like Christy and Eddie. I need, I need a minute. I need a minute. I need a minute. I, I don't even know what to say. I thought that, I thought he was actually going to talk about Eddie's story because Eddie's story is one of the most tragic in the, in, for any character in Tekken. And, and then he just says some, something that has never, ever been the case or even uh, like alluded to but what the fuck sure it's frustrating whenever he and christy are in the same room but dang it dude why you gotta look snazzy all the time seriously dude. where can we get threads like his what the fuck is he talking about perfect julia chang He really didn't say anything about Eddie's actual story. There is never, ever, like Christy is basically like this is this is explicitly been said that Christy is basically like a sister to Eddie. So like whenever anyone says that, it's it's like it's it's really weird, and it's I I I don't know what to even say. Like, what, you, did you really think that Christy crying at her grandfather's funeral was, like, a flirty thing that Christy did? That's fucking weird, dude. This guy's weird. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, not even a single thing on Kazuya framing him for murder and him being in jail for years. 
Not a single thing about his master dying. Not anything about trying to get revenge on Kazia. Not anything about him, him and his orphanage. No. Christy and Eddie want to fuck. I you see what they did to Pierre and Patroclus, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, but that's Soul Calibur. And Soul Calibur is such a different thing than Tekken. And then we got Julia. I love Julia. I play Julia. She is not in the top 10. She's not. She's not one like Shao Wits. Like, why is she here? Man, JWD. No, JWD is right. This guy is too in the female characters. Even when a male character gets brought up, it goes back to Christy for some reason. I don't. Like, I don't even know what to say at this okay, point. Here goes. Life just never seems to get boring when you're around Julia. In just a couple of years, well, in the Tekken timeline anyway, she goes from 18 to 20. This young lady has gone from archaeologist to forest preserver to pro wrestler to, uh, live streamer, I guess. Funny scene. Live streamer, I guess. She went to pro wrestler so she could infiltrate the Mishima Zaibatsu, so she could steal information from the Mishima Zaibatsu in, in order to be able to fund a project to be able to bring back the forest. She, she did it as a cover to infiltrate the Mishima Zaibatsu. It's the same thing that she's streaming for. Or was it G Corporation? I'm pretty sure it was Mishima Zaibatsu. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, I guess. She, she went from nature. She's, she's fucking Native American, dude. Like, what? Not, not to mention he's conflating Michelle and Julia, go, judging from the footage. Oh my god, he is. He is. He thinks Michelle and Julia are the same character. Seeing her go from being all mother naturey like her mom Michelle to asking us okay. to hit that subscribe button. Actually, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Motherfucker, read two sentences of her story in any fucking game. It's kind of weird. You know what's kind of weird? You not reading. You being illiterate. Career aside, Julia will wreck you with her mix of Chinese martial arts and pro wrestling moves. She may not be the easiest to learn and takes more damage than most characters, but Julia makes up for it. Party crash, a pie 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 crash. So if you want to play with a character that's going to be hard to master, Julia might be up your alley. Party crash, a pie 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 crash. King. King makes sense. King being this high makes sense. This is the first one that makes sense. King is perhaps the biggest pain in the ass out of the entire roster, save for characters like Leroy, who almost broke the game, but that's besides the point. Almost broke the game. He, he, he all, that's cute. He said he almost broke the game. And, and you know, he, he's saying like, like just Tekken 7 because that's the only game he knows and he doesn't know about just frame laser scraper. Will go on for days and take out more than two thirds. What of king you? Revenge guys, so always trying to support bastard reading a squit script. Well, that's on, why man. I said I wanted the Would name of the script writer earlier, right? Oh wait, that king is dead. King the second, the one who's been around since. He actually, he actually, he actually said something about the story. He actually, he knows that the first king is dead. No way. Second three is the bigger pain just because he has even more moves than his predecessor. Say, Mr. Jaguar, how many throws does it take to break every bone in the human body? That was an Let's attack throw. Find out. That wasn't a throw throw. I thought, don't. As frustrating as our fights with him can get, we know that this deep is down, King. we couldn't play a Tekken game. Oh my God! Do they think? Does okay? Okay, wait. I know we just said this about Michelle, but does now does he think Armor King and King are the same character? Well, at least whoever's editing this. Because it says king. Does, does he not know that they're different, that they're completely different people and not just king dressed up in a different outfit with different moves? I'm a cool, king is cooler than king just saying, oh yeah, 100%. I didn't have king. Just wouldn't feel right, man. No, 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 no. Because they've gone to this footage. They 100% they think that king, armor king is just king in a different outfit. Oh my. Jin Kazama. Honestly, you didn't think we'd forget about our devil gene infected bad boy, did you? You forgot about Kazuya. 
and you put Christy and Chow and Julia in this list. So yes. Yes, I did. I'm not mad about Jin. Jin. No, Jin being this high is like, I mean, he kind of has to be. He's been the main character since three. One of those guys you wouldn't dare look in the eye, and it's partially because of that Miguel did. scowl. Of course, we'd already be terrified of him. Just to kill him. He's capable of. Almost worked if he wasn't a pussy. Miguel First should have off, killed Jin. Jin's practically a karate master and can take out a whole group of soldiers within seconds. However, you need to turn and run if he suddenly grows wings and starts speaking in a satanic language. Am wrong? Satanic language? This ignorant motherfucker, he speaks Japanese. Whether he's in devil form or not. <laughs> he, spe he speaks Japanese. The language he's speaking doesn't change. Did this motherfucker just call Japanese a demonic language? <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm losing my mind. Don't worry about it's the horns and laser beams. It's just one more tiny problem in the massive Mishima Kazama family drama. Say, that should be a TV show. Not a single thing about the whole like world war or anything. Wow, that. That was something. Um. I think he's talking about the tone of Devil Jin's voice. Then he sure is said like sounding like a demon or speaking like a demon or something like that. But speaking a demonic language implies that he thinks or whoever's the script writer is thinks that Devil Jin <laughs> is not speaking a real language and he's just speaking gibberish when he's speaking Japanese. That's so fucking funny. Um. Oh my god. So, they say you didn't think we'd forget about Jin, would you? And they forgot about Kazuya. Oh my god. That... My favorite reactions. Since you're a reaction streamer for the day, I'm gonna give you this cool villain speech from Adventure Time. No, that's not fighting game related. Yo, went run, he'd rip those dollar store wings off and curb stop. <laughs> At least if he thought Jin had any joy. I'm going to make a list of the top 10 um, Tekken characters now. Let's see. Um, we'll, just, we'll just go in to get rid of every row. And we're just going to say who's the top 10 are. This was, um, I, like, I'm, this is the first time I've really watched one of these Watch Mojo videos on a fighting game. It didn't disappoint. Um, okay, I mean, who's the top ten, um, characters? Um, uh, Elisa Boskanovich, Yoshimitsu, um, Lars, Lee, Jin, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, who else? Who else is in here? Kazuya, I hate to say it, but he is. Um, I, I think Law deserves a spot. Paul probably deserves a spot. Where is he? Heihachi can fucking die. Um, Paul. I mean, Law and Paul are the first two characters made, so it's just objective, right? Oh, Brian needs to be in here as well. Yeah. Paul. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, that's 10. Yep, that, that, those, those are the top 10 Tekken characters. It just is. It just is. Main characters and iconic characters and Boskanovich is basically a main character because he does literally everything behind the scenes. Like, if it wasn't for Boskanovich, where would the plot of Tekken be? It would be nowhere. Armor King, no Boskanovich. No, Boskanovich has to be in this list because even though he's a background character, literally everything that happens throughout Tekken is because of him. Everything. <laughs> Let 
Like, without Boscon and Vichelisa wouldn't exist. Without Elisa existing, then Laz's Rebellion wouldn't be happening. Without Laz's Rebellion happening, then then the whole thing with Jin wouldn't have happened, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, it, go, it goes down an entire rabbit hole with Elisa. That's it. That's the top 10. King is a bonus character, because it feels weird to exclude King. But that's it. Doesn't have to, I feel like 9% of Tekken players don't even know Boss Gonovich exists. Yeah, well, you know, 90% of Tekken players, um... Nine percent Tekken players is stupid. Okay, I gotta play Bob. I gotta play Bob now, cause Moose told me to. I gotta go. Can I have my points refunded? Oh sure, yeah. Well, I'm out of I'm out of having to play Bob now. Hell yeah. There you go, Moose. There's your points back. Phew. That was close. Moose, since I've given you points back twice, um, the next time you're here, just just give me a character to play and I'll play the character. You don't even have to pay points. Just give me a character. I won't guarantee that I'll do a three win streak, but I'll, I'll play whatever character. Depending on how I'm feeling, I might just I might just play them to the purple rings. I don't know, but. <clears throat> I feel bad because that's the second time I've given you your points back for redeeming that. Soru. Sots. I've really got to remember to disable that reward, though. When I'm when I'm doing something where I can't just um, just switch characters or I don't want to, should be a redeem to make you switch between one of the characters you like. No one would redeem that, though. Right? Because I want to see Elisa. Okay, I'll play Elisa then. But I'm not spending a full 1k on that. Dude, if you spend the 1k to get me to play Elisa, I'll refund you the 1k. <laughs> Okay, fun feet. All right, we'll play a couple games with Elisa. Does this not work on Fong? Weird. Um, and then we'll watch the Tekken 3 endings. I'm low-key thinking about going back to Elisa. You should. Elisa's really fun. What the? One of us. One of us. I remember most of his shit, which is funny. I mean, it's pretty easy to remember. Yeah, I played it for a really long time. She, she, to be fair, she is a lot different from how she was. Oh, God, I forgot I have to move myself. Um, She is a lot different from how she was in Tekken 6. I feel because she can actually cancel boot faster and she has options all boot now or backup Jesus Christ going back to Tekken 6 like like I said before Elisa is so unbelievably boring in Tekken 6 she's a really 
complicated character in, in Tekken 7, but in Tekken 6, she is a snooze fest. So, a lot, uh, uh, there's a lot to still explore, but I can play, play a basic. Yeah, I think, I think because of that, Elisa is a, is a great beginner character. But the problem with Elisa is that she has a lot of moves that, like, look really good, especially to a new player, that are awful like down back four is a great one back one or three plus four back three plus four is a great one that you see low Bow? Good? That was weird. The microphone just died. Like, it was plugged in, but it just died. How long have I been muted? How long was that going on for? The microphone just died. Like, it, it was plugged in and everything. I didn't, like, mute it or anything. It just stopped working. It turned off. Anyway, what I was saying before I got muted is that, um... Like, when I was playing at Locals and I would do that punch parry. Um, I forgot that he has a mid there. Everyone does the low there when they do that. Oh, I forgot that's a high. Son of a bitch. That looks like a low to me. No more than five minutes. For five, I was mute for five minutes? Oh, my God. So, you heard nothing about me saying anything about Elisa? Like, if I've been mute this whole game? Oh, my God. How is that? How did that even happen? That's annoying. Nice. With nothing about Elisa after she changed a lot from Tekken 6. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. That's, that's really weird. Okay, I couldn't react to that. That's fine. Uh. 
I didn't break. I saw that as a punch. Okay. I actually don't know how to how to deal with that stuff. I, that's something I really need to lab with Steve because I actually just don't know how to deal with that. Nice. Yeah, you can't step that. That's a force block. Yeah, so what I was saying <clears throat> was that um, Elisa is a, like a great character uh, for new players. Like she's a great character to learn. Oh my fucking God. That's not punishable? Okay, I didn't know that. Um, because she has a really low skill floor, but a really high skill ceiling. But the problem is she has a lot of, um, a lot of moves that might look good to a new player that are actually really, really bad. Like down back four and back three plus four that you see Elisa play is at like all levels using, including high level. Um, and as soon as you play against, uh, I, 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 if you know the matchup, you play against an Elisa and they do all of that shit, then it, it's just like a free win basically because it happens so much. So many of Elisa players are like that. It's like Talum. Okay. Okay. That's not punishable? Okay, nice. Hold on, I wanted to summon a demon. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good hit confirm there. Ooh, good thing I'm not playing Asuka and that would whiff for no reason. Cool. I'm like glancing down my microphone every two seconds now. What? How did I press one plus two? Dude, why is that not working? Why is one plus two just not work? Like I'm mashing it and it's not working. That's the second time. Tip range. Wow, he actually ducked there. Wow. Nice, there you go. Dude, what is happening? That was input buffer, holy shit. Yeah, that me. This game's net code is so shit. Oh. Okay. I was so curious. I said, "No, you said something in demon." Don't try translating it, or uh, the demon might be summoned from their computer and they'll die. Thank you. Oh my god, why didn't I launch that? Okay. Nice, good step. What? How did I get a backflip when I was trying to crouch? Tempest launch punishable. Oh my god. Okay. Makes sense. 
Wow, that whiffed. Okay. That, that went through my... That went through my punch parry! I had the re... I had the re and I wanted to do the cool thing and it went through... Okay, I'm playing a different person. <laughs> this game is cursed. It's because I'm speaking the demon language. Wow, no break. Yeah, fine. Okay. <sighs> nice. Okay. I wasn't gonna punch Perry again because apparently it doesn't work. All right, I forgot how that combo was. Okay. Nice. Actually just broken like completely broken I couldn't have done that in that situation without the assist all right it's 2-2 two, two. well talk about the fact that the man doing the video compared Japanese people names because the people who worship the devil like excuse me that's not what he that's not that's not even close to what he said what are you talking about now he just doesn't know Japanese so he didn't know that devil Jin was speaking Japanese and I made fun of it what are you on about <laughs> What? What? I keep forgetting he can do a mid there. That's not punishable? Dude, I'm going to look at that, and if that's punishable, I'm going to lose my mind. Dude, the lag! The game froze! Dude, this connection is fucking terrible. This is... Di you know, I'm looking at the connection now and I'm seeing his thing go red like constantly. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Chip kills, chip kills. Welcome to Tekken 8, nerd. Okay. Wow. Okay. Jesus, he blocked that? All right, no big deal. Nice. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, wow, he hit a button. Okay. Nice. All right. I'm out of here. Tekken King, more like Tekken Clown. Wait, that's me. I'm just connecting way too many dots. You're not connecting too many dots. You're making dots. You, you are... You are taking the piece of paper. You are taking the 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 children's 
connect the dots book and you are putting more dots on there and giving it to the child and the dots make a pentagram and then you're saying that the child is a worshiper of Satan. <laughs> That's what you're doing. What the hell is this? What, what is this? Hardest character in the game? Is this is this the hardest character in the game? Okay. Speaking of devil. Oh god. Okay. He's jumping. This guy's a... This guy plays 2D games. Okay, I'm gonna play against him for real. <laughs> oh my god, dude, Rage. Oh, that shit's gonna be minus 13. Oh my god. Okay, alright. You know what? This guy plays 2D fighting games, so I'll, I'll, I'll be real with him. He actually is playing Kazuya because he thinks Kazuya is the Shoto. This poor guy. I mean, Akuma was right there. Yeah, he really was. He should have picked Akuma. Oh, he left. All right, well. Wait, how many hours does this guy have? Aw. <laughs> Aw, I wanted to see what, what fight what uh, fighting game he played. He played he has a TF2 badge. That's his featured badge. He has a level 4 Team Fortress 2 badge. Damn. Oh well, whatever. In this game, everything Devil Lair is purple, but in, in the next game, he has blue everything. Is there significance to that? Probably not. Probably not. One of them did have a purple glow, though, right? Uh, uh, June did. June has a purple glow. But probably not. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow, that reached? Okay. All right, this guy's not bad. Wow, the back sway there. Lingering hitbox? Wow. Okay. No punish. Nice. Anti air. A cause you play could learn a thing or two from me. Okay. Do I need to sidestep right? I'm not sure. Now that's Tekken. Ah, shit. I didn't finish the combo. Now I can't get the clip. Oh, it's back. Ah, I saved it. I saved the clip. Ah. Oh, that didn't reach. Let's 
excuse me. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, it's been a while since I've gotten that back turn. Yeah, I'm dead. I shouldn't have done the backflip. I should have just dashed to a side, but I was scared. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, a little bit too respectful. Ooh. Oh my god. Well, that was that was frankly just impressive. Like I can't even be mad. I, Get ready for the next I had that and he I got outplayed. Hi Hugh. After Sin, if you're still playing, would you indulge me in Elisa Mirror? Mirrors help me learn faster. I mean, I can do it after this Raven game because I'm assuming that Sin hasn't eaten dinner yet. And besides, I'm not playing on streaming for much longer anyway. I was just going to play like these last games with uh, Raven. <clears throat> oh, that didn't punish. And then uh, watch the Tekken 3 endings, so. Granted, these Raven games could go on for a while because um, I like fighting Raven and you don't see her very often. Oh, I didn't get the instant while running. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh. No teleport. Nice. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking grow. Oh no. <laughs> that was good. Oh, fuck. I, I always think that's a one plus two break. I think it's a one break, though. Okay. Wow. Ah, nice. I'm finished with dinner, but soon I have to take a break, take care of some things, and I'll be right back. So if you want Aqua, you can go first. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay. Big whiff punish. I, I didn't know I was back turned. I don't even know how I got back turned. Oh my god. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's zero on block, my friend. Plus eight. He blocked. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Why am I over here? I thought I punished her. <laughs> nice. 
Nice, okay. Is her down for one plus two save? I don't know. Elisa's isn't. Elisa's is minus 13. My biggest, uh, my weakest thing with her is definitely with punishment and chainsaw entr um, entrances. With punishment, my recommendation is always buffer forward forward so you can do running two as a whiff punish. That's what I do. Always back four four is an easy one. But I think running two is the better one most of the time. Like that. Because it sets you up for more pressure. Whereas um, back four four really doesn't. It kind of just resets neutral. Lisa. Okay, I thought she was gonna be in back turn there. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> nice block. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, what the hell? What just happened? I had that in the full whiffed. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. I should have done the three four there. Which could have ducked. Oh. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Uh, is down back too too good as a poke? No, it's terrible. It's awful. But if they don't break the nosebleed stun, then you get forward uh, three two guaranteed. I didn't hit confirm fast enough. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have hit one. I shouldn't have hit one. That was stupid. <clears throat> I was at a disadvantage. I shouldn't have hit one. That was dumb. Get ready for the next battle. 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 I think I need to be doing more down four, four and back four, right? Because a lot of the things that are happening with this game is my highs are whiffing when I try punishing. <laughs> and also when I try pressing four to like counter hit her, I'm right, but then they get high crushed. Okay. Nice dick jab. There you go. <gasps> what the fuck? Man, you remember there was a time where they would have done the armor move there? Bad times. Nice. Ooh, that's big. That's huge. 
No rage odds here. Not against the blue rank. I'm not playing it red against red ranks anymore. I don't have to worry about that. Ah. Uh. Ooh, that's that's big. Nice. Really? See? Nice, good... Good crouch. <sighs> I caught her waking up because she was face up, head towards. Oh, that's... That's cheap. That's cheap. <laughs> Aw. But imagine if it worked. Oh, nice. Really? Damn. Okay. Trying to duck that second hit. I don't know if it jails, though. It might. Okay. Oh. Damn. I tried punishing the down forward four of Rage Art. I was too late, even though she delayed it. Okay. I'll take it. Oof. Big whiff punish. Baited. Oh. Whew. Shing. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. This guy's really fun. I really like playing against Raven. <clears throat> Raven games are always dumb, and I love it. Okay, yeah, that that's that is an option. To the wall. Ah, it's fine. He thought he thought that I didn't mean to drop in. I did so that I could get the counter hit. It's part of the psych the psychological manipulation. You see? Look at this. Look, I whiff, and then look, look at that. See it? I'm in his head. Look, I whiffed. I'm in his head. That's all there is to it. That's how you play Elisa Aqua. Just drop everything and whiff all the time and they'll think that you're too stupid to play the game. But as long as you're doing everything intentionally, then you'll just win. It's that easy. It's that simple. Look at that. See, double perfect. It's that easy. Just play like an absolute buffoon. Ooh. Okay. I still should have done back for but whatever. It worked. Hey, that hit. Okay. 
I thought I might be able to catch his fuzzy duck, but then now I'm wondering why I didn't just do 3-4 if I was trying to do that. Okay. Nice. Nice block. Nice. Oh, really? That caught it. That's also minus 12, the knee. It's minus 12 and 14. It's one of them. Okay. Oh. That, yeah, that's, that's rough. Yeah. I hate not having a god button. You get used to it. Oh, damn. Okay. Nice. To the wall. Okay. That should have been a punish, actually. Nice, good roll. <laughs> Get a bad rage drive, nerd. Maybe in your next game. Oh, fuck. I gotta stop doing the two. I don't know what way to step that, actually. Nice. Ah, oh, input buffer. That's big. I, I was I was trying to jump off the wall and it wasn't working. Ugh. I did my rage trap just a little bit earlier as well. <sighs> oh well. If I saved it, fuck, if I didn't even hit the button and I just whiff punish with rage art. Okay. Okay. Wow, good block. Boop, boop, shit. Ah, my instant while running. Woo! Okay, I'm out myself. Okay. Oh. One for the back four counter hit. Man, you remember when Master Raven had the biggest combo damage in the game? How times change. Yeah, that's big. Ooh. I didn't go into DS. I have such a hard time reacting to that for some reason. It's not even that quick. I don't know. I, I guess it's because she has a lot of moves that have that jumping animation, right? So it's not that easy to see. Like, I mean, that has a similar animation, you know? Yeah, she waited. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> ah, you should have ducked the high. Green rank strats, green rank strats. Hmm. I 
I'll do a couple more. I'll do like two or three. Okay. Oh. Ah, that's the first time he's done that. Okay. That's why I should be using back four more. Okay. Thick jab. That's what we love to see. Wow, he actually blocked it, but he didn't punish. Oh, I forgot about the, the hits there. This isn't going to whiff punish, actually, is it? Oh, it did. Okay. The recovery animation puts her in standing. Okay. God, I love 13 frame rage shots. Man, imagine if there are still rage shots like Elisa's in the game. I guess they would actually be weaker than most rage shots then, right? You would actually have to think of when to use them because they would be highs. You have you can still launch them. Oh! 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 What the hell? That didn't work! Oh! The side the side changed. <laughs> she thought that running tackle was going to save her. Nice. Get it to the wall here. Bop. Oh, she's not dead. She's dead. <laughs> I let I let go of the controller, so I could only I could only do my standing moves. I could only I could only press one, two, three, or four, and I press the mid. Oh Jesus. <laughs> God. Your nightmare has begun. Fight. Nice. Good step, God. Uh, I think you have to sidestep that left. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's that linear. I'm evil. My God, I'm evil. Nice. How do you go in the front crouch after, or in the chainsaws after front crouch? Uh, one plus two. Um, you have to let go. It, it's weird. You have to let go of like the D-pad entirely. You have to put B, pressing neutral, and then pr press one plus two. If you're pressing a direction when you do it, then you won't get them. It's really weird. Nice. Yep, that's guaranteed. Whiff punish? Oh, I thought that would work. Oh, I think I'm dead here, right? I should be. Yeah. Okay. Anti air. Oh, my. Damn. 
Oh, I forgot about the low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Ooh, I didn't mean to grab. Whew, that's big. Oh! God, dude. GG's. <laughs> GG's. Ah, oh, dude, Raven play is bad. I swear to God. All right, Aqua, I'm going to send you an invite. <clears throat> this is, I jumped over him, and he thought that he was going to get the raise drive, but I was two steps ahead of him, and I hit one plus two. Oh, my God. The problem with playing against Raven, though, in any capacity, is that it, I'm, it's exhausting. I'm exhausted now because you have to think so much. I just want a losing streak. Poor Aqua. You'll get it. You'll get it eventually. You, you'll get it in Tekken 8. As soon as the words eventually came out of my mouth, I'm like, oh, wait, Aqua isn't going to play this game. Oh my god. <sighs> what is it? What is what? All I said is that you're not going to you're not going to play Tekken and that's true. Look up. Oh, I didn't even look at her rage drive because I'm dumb. Oh. Her rage drive is four, two plus three. I'm the dumb one here, okay? That's my job as the streamer to be the clown. <laughs> I'm sitting and calling that watch Mojo guy illiterate, and now here I am. Oh, Jesus. Boop, boop. Okay. Oh, I tried ducking. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Next stream, you'll be in a clown outfit. I didn't say that, but... I don't even need an outfit. I'm always the clown. Sidestep timing was off. Okay. Boop. Hit confirm. There you go. I press the dash button. <laughs> Okay. This is like a game of chicken when two Elises go in the boot. Ooh. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, that was weird. Elise is too small. Okay. By the way, Aqua, when I hit you with that move, roll. Because if you do anything besides roll, the dual boot one plus two is guaranteed. And no one rolls. But roll. If you roll, then dual boot three is guaranteed. But then you're at least making it a mix up. But if you do anything after that hits besides roll, then one plus two is guaranteed. Even if you just get up or stay on the ground, whatever. <clears throat> and also, when you're playing Elisa, just do just do one plus two. It's it, even even against people who are attacking God rank, it hits them because they don't know. I need to look at her move list. She does have one of the biggest move lists in the game. Nice. You can get the you can get the four there again, T with the back turn. Okay. Yeah, it's minus nine on block. It's not punishable. Oh yeah, I got a hop kick. Yeah. Not used to having to do that at this point. Okay, dick jab. Nice. Oh, saw the duck and I thought that um that move was minus ten by the way. The two three three. Second hits minus eleven, third hits minus ten. Might be the other way around. Okay. Oh my god, that's not a punish. I'm not playing I'm not playing Yoshi. Um, yeah, when you do the rage drive as well, you can go in the boot off of it. Pressing three plus four, obviously. Oh, I've, I thought I went out of destruction stance. Nice, good punish. Nothing is guaranteed. All is just an illusion. All is just an illusion. None of this is real. <laughs> Wait, that's such a good one. None of this is real. I should not play with Tekken 6 knowledge alone. No, she has a completely different character from Tekken 6. Completely different. <laughs> no Alisa Boskanovich. Still fun. No, absolutely. Yeah, I think she's the most fun character in the game. That's why I play her. That's why my name is Seth Boot. <laughs> you know? Like. Oh, okay. Ikimas. Back in the DS. Guaranteed. Nice little setup there. Happy little setup. 
All right, what do you got? Your turn now, Aqua. What do you got? Okay, well, that did work. Oh my god, that's that's why that's it's like 16, isn't it? It's not minus 18. All right, all right. Your turn over. It's my turn. Oh, hot kick. All right. Nice. Oh, that was great. I tried stepping, but I did it a little bit too late. Try again when you're a little bit closer. Oh, I will. Okay. That's reactable. Don't do that move. Nice duck. Ooh. Have you seen the video of Chanel ducking that move blindfolded? <laughs> <laughs> Went out of range. Take the trade. Okay. Good defensive technique. <laughs> See, now, see you, you, you're getting me in this Yoshi meets you mindset when now I just want to hit four. God damn it. <laughs> This is my biggest weakness. You can't do this to me. It's fucked up. Like, if you know the sequence of buttons to hit, you can literally control me. Like... <laughs> It's, it's so fucked up. You have the knowledge on the Yoshi play. You can use that to your advantage. It's, it's borderline cheating. Like, if I'm playing in a mirror match with any character, that's a debuff. You know? Luckily, I have no Elisa punishment. Well, you're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today. Because I have the punishment. This is pre-practice Aqua, gotcha. This is like testing the waters, Aqua. Not even like dipping your toe in, but getting someone else to dip their toe in for you to tell you how it is. I see. Only I'm allowed to use boot. That's why I'm called Seth Boot. Ah, shit. Oh, I, that's, I've never used that move in my life. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> nice. That's a good option. There you go. No. I don't want your presence. I want your blood. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm too focused on this. I can't react to down back four. Jesus Christ. Yeah, at the at the wall, the the dual boot three there is just guaranteed. The one, the the dual boot one plus two will actually whiff if that hits at the wall, but the three is guaranteed no matter what. <clears throat> and then you're in a mix-up situation. Ooh. 
How do you do that double kick when you do you do with running? It's uh, three four. It's running three four. It's minus seven on block, I think. I think it's minus seven on block. It's something like that. Alisa Boskanovich. You know, thinking about, I wonder what my sidestepping stat is at now. Because I was sidestepping a lot when playing Asuka, huh? And it was working. This is an Elisa outfit that I, I don't use. <laughs> I haven't used this in, in a long time. I didn't do the second hit. Okay. Oh, that's out of range. Big counter hit. There you go. Him with the quick glow. Oh, God. A down four, one plus two, excuse me, turn into a dick jab? Nice. What? What? You're done. You're... What? Fuck it. 13 frames. 13 frames. 13 frames. Son of a bitch. 13 frames. God damn it. He's a Soul Calibur player. He can react with fucking CE. Shit. I forgot about that. This is some. This is something that Tekken players lack: is the ability to whiff punish with Rage Eye. But he can do it. God damn it! God duck that. Defensive character, by the way. Just remember, everything that you go in the read about Elisa is that she's a very defensive character and can't do can't do offense. J just remember that the, the one of Elisa's biggest weaknesses and everything that you'll hear from anyone who says anything about Asuka is that, or Asuka Elisa is that she's a pure defensive character and that she lacks offense. Just remember that. It's a very important thing to know when playing this character. Shit. Nice. Oh, he got, he's got the jabs. I won't do it, but I'm very tempted to do something silly. Three seconds. <laughs> he, he didn't see the time. He didn't see the time. <laughs> oh, I was stalling for time at the 15 second. <laughs> I, I start stalling for time at the 15 second mark because I'm like, he has to come to me and he has rage. So he's going to do rage drive or something. He didn't see the time. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> see, okay, so punishing with the rage art 
is is like an advantage that you have. The timer is a disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god. Aqua uh, doesn't have like the timer in it because it's the same timer, but he doesn't have the timer internalized because he listens to the sound. <laughs> Attack the timer is bad. Quiet, it is silent, sir, not quiet. Okay. Who's gonna tell him that down four is minus six on hit? Okay. How did I not break that? Did I miss the button? All right, check this out. What's he gonna do? I was going to do last game, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a Yoshi boy. What do you want? Like, this is this is what I do. This is what I do for a living. I'm a clown. Sometimes that helps. Oh my god. <laughs> He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't. Here we see an Elisa in the wild. Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right. Ready for it? Ready? Waiting, 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 waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, that was good. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> you, you got. You got a range drive. You can range drive. It will get to the wall, and then you do the one, two, one, three plus four. Sometimes it depends on the angle of the wall. It's it's weird. I don't know combos help. Yeah, you can um you can also do you don't have to do four three plus four do race drive as well. You can also do running three plus four. That also works. So what you should have done there is running three plus four. Although with the combo you did it would have made it hard because of the distance, but running three plus four, you get the wall spot, do one, two, one, three plus four. Also, if you if you made the combo a little bit shorter so I didn't go as far, you could have uh, you could have gotten the rage right. You just that was too far away because of the combo you did. God damn it! I had you to the wall, and then you, you do the backflip. Ah! Okay. This might be nine. I didn't even react to it, I just knew. Oh, I thought that was back turn. Ooh. Ooh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? How do I get crap? Excuse me, that's my 13, I did a 12. Why did the... Okay. 
Fist is minus 18. I am going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Nice sidewalk. Oh. Elisa boot step, boot step. <laughs> I like that. Boot step. Okay, good punish. To the wall? It's plus eight on block. It's plus eight on block. <laughs> You're telling me the launching mid is plus eight on block as well? It is. Yes, it is. It is. You cannot hit a button there. It is. <laughs> I've only been letting you get away with it. And by letting you get away with it, I mean I, I keep doing up for one plus two, and that's how I keep getting hit because that move is like 20 something frames, but. Because it's an orbital. <laughs> of course it is. Hello, Moose. Welcome back. I can't wait to actually play this character. Hell yeah. I can't wait for her in Tekken 8. I think she's insane in this game. Bomb, play my character. There's not enough time left in the stream, Moose. The, the, the next time, the next time you're here, and I'm playing Tekken, I'll play Bomb. Don't, no points required, because I've been refunding it so much. But I'm playing Aqua. I told Sin I'd play against him, and then I'm, I'm done with the stream. I've been streaming for a while. Very after Aqua. Yeah, I'll play you after Aqua for sure. Then I gotta watch the Tekken 3 endings like I have in the stream title. Okay, dick jab. Never use that as a poke against me ever again. Although against a lot of plays you can, honestly. They don't duck the height. Okay. Again, minus 10. It's not 12. It's minus 10. Nice. Oh, God. At the wall that I could have gotten the down for. Oh. Okay. I guess I should have done the neutral one. That would have hit, but... Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Aqua is typing. Oh god. Uh, how do you do that kick after DC one? After DC one, down back one. Um, you got three. That's the mid launcher that like you have to run and then do down for one plus two. Yeah, that how did I get one one? Um yeah, that. And then the knee is just the launcher, but it doesn't have really any range. Um this one is minus nine on block. And the knee I think is also minus nine on block. Oh, I'm gonna let you hit me because I hit you. Hit me. Hit me. There you go. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm going to win now because the time's about to run out. <laughs> uh...
Oh, I don't know how many games we're at. This is like seven, right? I don't know. Get ready for the, next battle, battle, battle. Uh, the issue is you can't wait. You can wait a little bit. You can wait a little bit. But mostly, yeah, a, a lot of it is like, um, like you can't delay it, right? But a, a lot of it is looking if the opponent is doing something as you're canceling Buddha going into down back one or something. Like that, right? That's kind of how you hit confirm it. Quote unquote. Nice. Forward one there. It's not core circle four one plus two, whatever the hell it was in Tekken six anymore. It's just forward one. Oh God. Panicked, I saw that. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Most people won't be able to punish it. They'll they'll catch themselves on it or you'll just block. Or they'll block it and then you plus. into that. Okay. Ow. I forgot I have to tap up there. That's that's one of those weird ones where that's actually not guaranteed, but you have to tap up when you're on the ground. Oh my god, that's why it's 10 Seth. Anyway. You shouldn't have whiffed. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I, I didn't crouch cancel. Okay. Nice. You run up. There you go. Yep, just like that. Oh, the move is so stupid. I love it. I do too. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite moves. I just love that you get a combo off of it. You know, like they stop rolling and you just get a combo. Oh, you take on sin. All right, good games. That's why I'm Seth Boot. I love Boot. I love Boot and I love Backup and I love the options out of it. It's so much fun. All right, Sin, I'll send you an invite. I'm gonna run to the restroom while you're joining. But I, I have sent an invite. Definitely wanna play again soon though, hell yeah. At least, it's, at least it's so much fun. She's very underrated in terms of the fun aspect because you can play her in a really boring way and get results with her and that's what most people do and most people know her for. But you can have fun with her and she's still really good. She's not one of those characters I mean, this isn't the case in 3 fighting games in general, really. But, you know, even in um, in Tekken, there are characters like this where you play them one way and there's an optimal way to play her. And Elisa, like, on the surface, seems like she's that kind of character. But she's not. You can play her super, like, you can play her really different. You can party with her. You can have fun with her. And she's really cool. And it's 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 a very viable way to play her as well. A musician plays it that way, you know? I'm gonna laugh the shit out of her. I didn't think I'd enjoy her again after Lily and Hua Rong took up so much of my time, but this set decided, like, that was great. Hell yeah. I mean, that makes me happy. That's awesome. Hell yeah.
My Elisa antics woo someone over again. This is what happened all the time with locals as well. Where I would play Elisa and I play my party style of Elisa and it just makes everyone like happy instead of aggravated to play against Elisa. I love it. Like instead of getting all of the boos and groans, it's more like, damn, your Elisa is actually pretty cool. Except now it was like, you know, more of a mirror match and a mix of both, right? Like I show you things with the character, you play the character. I got that punch parry. That was sick, albeit not entirely <laughs> intentional. The punch parry is sick. It's not even very good because it's good against certain characters. It's good against Hua Rong and Nina in particular because of how fast the highs recover. A lot of the time you can you just duck and punish, obviously. But sometimes there are very rare situations where it's actually better because the highs recover too quickly. Lydia is another example of a character like that. Um. But when you get the punch parry off, it's so sick. It's so good. Sometimes you, you, you get in this tunnel where you just throw it out with Elisa because you want to hit it, even if it's not good. It's very, very situational. It's, it's very character specific when you use it, but I love using it. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, the double. Oh my god. I try I, I didn't realize I'd roll. I tried tucking. That's a lot of range. Okay. Wow, that actually that hit. It's trying to block. Oh, I hit the wrong one. I was it's three plus four. I don't know why I thought the rage drive was one plus two. Nice. Okay, that works. Getting team. There you go, okay. I like the defense though. Like that first round was really, really solid. Yeah, like see? Just backing up and not trying to do backdash cancels and stuff is like so much better. Right, because I'm still scared to approach, right? Like I'm a lot more scared than if you're doing a lot of crouching and stuff, you know? Especially because you're playing Jack. Ah, oh, third hit. Gotta duck that. I wasn't sure. Can't remember if that was a mid and I get launched or not for a second. There we go. Okay. Phew. I, 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 I like the idea behind the one plus two. It's just this is a matchup thing, I guess. Well, that doesn't really work. Okay. Oop. Ah. Oh, I went for the magic four there. Nice. Wow, nice. Okay. I mean, hell, you almost got me there. You almost got two rounds. This is a lot better than even last time, too. It's exponential progression here. Get ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Like, there's just a couple matchup things and hitting buttons that are too slow, but that's one of the problems with Jack, right? This is more of like a problem with this matchup than anything because Jack doesn't have a lot that can stop Josie, I think. More down four ones and back ones might be uh, might be good. 
at least in this particular matchup. Like when you're hitting one plus two, hitting back one instead. But I don't know if that'll whiff against Josie in the crouch dash or not. I really don't. But like, I also see the idea and it's the right idea. It's just the wrong moves, right? Oh God. Okay. I forgot my own combos with Josie. Okay. Butterfly edge. Be the butterfly. See the butterfly. Oh, oh. Okay. Ah, that's a high. I forgot. Nice duck. Yeah, it's not one of those cases where you can't uh, you can't press there. Like I see the idea, but. And you know, here's another thing too, Sin. Don't be, don't be afraid to try hitting back back. I know it's a lot to like do right now because this is all just trying to get everything like working together, right? But when you're holding back, don't be afraid to try tapping back back because I see that you're like crouching. But, um, and I don't know if you're doing that because you think I'm going to do like crouch dash three or something, which if you are fair enough, but don't be afraid to try hitting back back. Because even if you're not back dash canceling, it's still faster than holding back, right? And there's no harm in doing it. Like, sure, you might neutral god for a bit, but a lot of the time that doesn't matter. I don't even know what moves Josie has that beat neutral god. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Yeah, see, again, don't even worry about the crouch canceling, right? Because you just, because when you're doing that, you're just opening yourself up more. Because I think that's what he's doing. But even then, so you, you gotta remember that it, it's you 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 you're canceling the movement from um nice from after you back dash right. You're canceling the back dash animation. But down for two though. Right. So holding back like this and then doing that that's not gonna do anything. Nice. Good defense. That's plus on block. Oh, fuck. Nice. Shut that down forward, too. I thought down forward one high crush for some reason. Okay. Oh, you blocked it. I knew I know when he's going the crouch though. There's like a timing to it Nice there you go and combos a combo, right? Good block oh, I Why did I get a throw that's happened a couple times today? I just tried punishing Bop, bop, bop. Ah, uh, nice. One. Damn. He got the one? 
Oh, I forgot the... Nice. Okay. I mean, Jesus, I, like... He's getting, not only is he getting rounds more consistently, like what, this is the fourth game and two of those he's gotten one, and the first game he almost got two. But like, he's also consistently gave me below half health now. That was three games, not four. Jesus. Sin, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I gotta run to the restroom real quick. I meant to do that before, um, before we start and I just forgot. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Give me a minute. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, hi, I'm back, sorry. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. No turning back. Uh, you know what? I wanna play Julia. One of the greatest characters in Tekken. Oh. Rah. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Oh, God. I thought that had a 10 frame. Oh no, it has an 8 frame interrupt window. That it's a zero she can flash it, not a 10 frame. God. Oh my god, I did it again. Oh no, he's gonna kill me! Oh! Oh, he's gonna kill me! Oh, you have to do the forward one plus two. Oh man, he should have had that round. I fucked up. He fucked up too though. He needed to do the he oh I see no he had one plus two and then forward. That's what happens. Okay. Oh my god, I fell I fell for that super hard. Jesus, I'm getting my ass kicked now. I whiff, nice whiff punish, shit. Why do you hesitate? Fight. Okay. That reached, wow. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that, that hit. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. I still got Julia combos. I still got Julia combos. I I I I, I haven't played this character in so long. Like it, it it may it's it may have been over a year at this point, and I still got him. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Well, they'll do them on play it too, say. Didn't hit confirm that. Okay. Oh, I didn't break. I didn't even see the throw. Nice. Okay. Bow and arrow. Okay. Oop. I can't remember if that's a mid or a high. Okay. Oh! Ta! Where my one plus two go? I don't remember what you do there, right? You get a combo there. I don't remember how though. Ooh, nice. Big punch. Aw. Oh, fuck. Stupid. There we go, mid into mid. Hiya. The stream's not over. The stream is not over yet. It's getting there, though. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. My, oh. Sorry, nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. All right, what do we got? I don't remember exactly how you come. You can do that three times, right? Oh my God, can you really not hit confirm that? Oh. It's gotta stop doing that attack. Okay. My god, the doubtful one has no range. Why did I think it did? There you go. Tap. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that was just. That's Julia. That's Julia. Okay. Oh God. Yeah. He's panicking, he's panicking. Oh, 
He's hitting more. He's hitting more buttons in neutral now. I don't know if he's panicking or getting frustrated. I feel like he's getting frustrated, but I'm not sure. The buttons there just seem like they were weird. Right? Julia does that. Julia makes you angry. Julia makes you mad. That's why she's a streamer. Wait, no, that's the opposite of what a streamer should do. Okay. Okay. With punish. With punish. There you go. Little low, never hurt anyone except for the opponent. Oh god, the third hit again. Crouching grab. I'm just gonna do a simple combo. I won't do the full thing. Okay. Hi, yeah. Oh my god, I was out of range. Back one, back one. I mean that would that would probably work even at intermediate level, honestly. But with me, I'm just gonna hit fast buttons, you know. I definitely noticed, you know, seeing um the planting the seeds. That um He's definitely not getting as many one plus twos as before. I think that's a big improvement, right? And it seems like the directional inputs as well. Seem a lot better. Cause like, you know, he did the, he, he kept doing, he's doing the back one, right? He's not getting like down back one or anything, which I'm pretty sure would just be a dick jab with Jack, right? I don't think, oh no, his down back one is the low. Oh, maybe that's what the back one was supposed to be. Maybe it was down back one. And he's pressing back, down back, but he's pressing the one too early. Oh, that would make sense. That would make sense. Mmm. That would be why he keeps doing... Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, there it is. Yeah, that's absolutely what was happening. Ow. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, was that his bag? Okay, I'll take it. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Yeah, I mean, th this is the right thing to do. Absolutely nice. Avoiding the mix-up as well. Yeah, just playing defensive here in this situation is absolutely the right thing to do. Nice! That was that was great. That was a great round. Yeah, because I mean, before too, like this is so much better from just a fundamental perspective as well, right? Because before, what Sin would do is he would, he would attack. He would try going in. He would hit buttons there. He didn't hit anything. I was trying to bait him into doing it, and he didn't. Like, he, I had to go in and I had to force a mix-up. As soon as I tried forcing a mix-up, forward one plus two. Casey, okay, now I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to make him come to me. Oh, that didn't reach, but it still worked. I should have just done running one. But yeah, you know, trying to poke if I come in. I get it. 
Big whiff punish. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. Yeah, you gotta stop doing that string. I'm pretty sure you can hit confirm the third hit, and even if you can't. I mean, you just die if it gets blocked, basically. It doesn't really give you too much. Ah. Yeah, I mean, again. Okay, nice. Yeah, he's, he's got to stop doing that string. That's a Jack thing, though. He's got to stop doing that string where he shoots his fist in the air. <clears throat> All right. GG, Sin. GG's Aqua, GG Sin. Ugh. Definitely a lot better. 100%. Like, I, I, I still see noticeable improvement. For sure. Just from even a fundamental perspective, right? Like, blocking more often. Um. Not, like, running in if, uh, if you have more health. Stand blocking more, right? That's a big one. Trying to do a lot of the faster pokes a lot of the time. Like, sometimes did the slow moves, but even still, like, 1 plus 2 is a lot better than... Like, a lot of the moves you can do with Jack. But trying to do, like, the back ones and down back ones and those fast pokes as well. A lot better from a fundamental perspective, for sure. You know, I forgot, too, when I finished Asuka... I forgot to say what I think you should do against Asuka, like what I learned about Asuka. Um, and the and the honest answer is I didn't really learn much. Like, learn the chicken buffer and don't whiff. And those are the... That's the biggest thing. Like, really, just you gotta learn the chicken buffer, especially if you're doing long charge moves. You gotta chicken buffer. You gotta know how to chicken and, and don't whiff. Like, Asuka doesn't have a lot of very good offensive tools unless she's right in your face. But she has a lot of great defensive tools and great whiff punishment tools. So don't whiff. But don't also don't let her get super close to you because then you get she gets down uh, one plus two and one plus two. You know, like it's reactable to down one plus two, but it's hard. It's hard. So like back up. Back dashing is really good against her. Back dashing is super strong against her. And use keep out tools. Like, she's really good when she's right in your face. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, with that out of the way... We got Tekken 3 endings. Um, before I do this, I'm gonna refill my water real quick, because we might be here for another... At least 20 minutes, right? Because we're gonna be looking at all of these. Um, so I'll go refill my water. I'll be back and then we'll watch these. Ah.
All right, I am back. I'm getting there, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. Like even, I, I could I could again see noticeable like improvement between um. Oh God, stop! Hold up, stop! Go, leave. Uh, I could notice th there was noticeable improvement <clears throat> between um the last time and this time. Like defense and stuff was a lot better. Hitting faster buttons. That kind of stuff, for sure. <sighs> Alright. Are we ready for the Tekken 3 endings? <sighs> oh, right. We skipped the summary because the summary is bullshit. My arm like ha halfway through kind of quit. I see that would that makes sense because I noticed about halfway through that you were starting to throw more things out in neutral and stuff. Hello? The fuck? This is this is the second time that's happened now. I I don't. Thank you for telling me, Sin. I the the microphone is just dying. Well, it's the power connector that's dying. Um, that's so weird. I don't know what could be doing that. That's so strange. Huh. Okay, let me readjust this because I did that whole tidbit. Okay, I think that... this. Do, wait, this doesn't feel right. My microphone arm is having a mind of its own. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, everything's falling apart. I need help. I need I need an adult. Okay, there. I that's back to normal. Okay, good. We're we're good. Okay, Jesus. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's usually um, the help my arms tensing up, but I still want to play thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you get that, like, with your thumb, you know? It's not like your whole arm, obviously, but with your thumb when you're playing, especially if you're, like, learning new things. Like, if I'm try if I'm playing a 2D fighting game and I have to do motions and stuff, then, yeah, the same thing happens. Anyway, let's watch the arcade edition of the opening again. We're not too far into the Tekken 3 endings, are we? I just started. I looked at the arcade edition, and then my mic fucking died again. So we're starting from the top. So, what I was saying 
before I was so rudely interrupted by Elgato was that it's pretty surprising the the graphical difference between Tekken 2 and 3, right? Like, there's more definition on the body and on the face, um, and the animations are a lot cleaner, you know? The, the, the animations feel a lot more natural, I guess. Whereas in Tekken 1 or 2, it's impressive because you have individual parts of the face that are moving. But at the same time, it doesn't it doesn't look as natural as it does here. And there's only like a two year difference between Tekken 2 and 3, right? It's insane how much of an improvement there is between the two. I just got back from buying snacks. Hell yeah. Also, the mood. Yeah. Well, let's let's see how the home edition is because the arcade edition version of the opening isn't that good usually. Once again, fate brings together those who heed the call. Mexico. Yeah, having all of these different... Like, having the helicopters and having all those people... Man, did you see Heihachi's face there? That, that has more definition than Tekken 7! It's way too dark, though. Like, you can't see anything. The, the definition on his legs? That's like what we see in Tekken 8 with Law when he goes, you know? Oh my god. Oh, is that where they got the whole shell beats up a bunch of Mishima Zaibatsu guards? That's not. The Watch Mojo thing. Sorry, that's a completely separate thing. I shouldn't even be bringing that up. <laughs> the effect on Yoshimitsu turning from invisible to visible as well. I know this is very nostalgic for people. Yeah, they do a lot with like, they, they do such a better job with like storytelling as well, right? That was the devil, that's how Jin got his mark. They do a, such a bad job with storytelling in the intro too. There's a lot of things in that intro that are very significant right to the story and it's not something that really happens in a lot of other Tekken games because like if we go to future Tekken games like four or five whatever they explain more in detail what happens in the intro here it's not i think i'm pretty sure you only have to go you, you can only get it from going to like the website or something and then it gives you the synopsis but yeah this OST, this is my first second. Yeah, it's very nostalgic for people. And, um, like, a, a thing is with, with these intros that are nostalgic, right? That a lot of people are like, oh, it's, it, it, it's, like, the best intro of all time. A lot of the time, I feel like that's just nostalgia talking and it's not very good. Like, I'm going to say something that's going to be controversial here. Um, but Soul Calibur 1's opening was not that good like it has good music but the opening itself wasn't that good especially if you compare it to soul cal like three soul caliber three has one of the if not the best opening in any fighting game ever period i'm sorry like you compare other soul caliber games to one it's j it's it's on the bottom of the list So laws, they look great. What the hell they do? Um, this is one of those that was actually really, really good. I don't have nostalgia for this game. I never played Tekken 3. But this is it's genuinely a really, really good intro. It is. Right, Soul Calibur openings aren't even something I talk about after one. Yeah, and, and a lot of people say that they're amazing and they have a lot of nostalgia. I think Soul Calibur 2 is also kind of like that, right? And like Soul Calibur 2 intro I love and I love the music and I, I, I love everything about it. But at the end of the day, a, a lot of Soul Calibur 2 is just like, there's nothing really that special about it. It's just like a bunch of cinematic cuts from one character to another with not a whole lot of significance bes besides the shards. 
but it doesn't really it's like hey we have like the guest character and then we have a like Tom standing on a hill and whatever but there's nothing um and then you have like Taki and Ivy fighting which is neat but like nothing really happens you know whereas in something like Soul Calibur 3 it has a great soundtrack that's clearly tailored made to the intro it makes it a lot better it has more story significance behind everything the opening doesn't even like it feels like an actual like cinematic thing right um that's what makes it so good but even like soul Calibur 2 as much as i love the intro i think soul Calibur 2 falls into that same thing as well but um yeah th this one tekken 3 is pretty good it's not it's not the best one right like tekken 4 and 5's opening is definitely better but it's still good it's still good. God, it did JWD got demoed because of a laggy as well. I'm surprised there's still as well. I forget that character even exists. Tekken 4 is my first Tekken, so Calibur 3 was pretty and had significance, but still isn't compared to 1. Nah, I think 1's is not very good. I don't think 1's is very good. That's why I said it was going to be a hot take. Seth unhinged again. I know, I know. All right. So, opening demo. We got opening demos. Okay. There's so much detail, like, everywhere on the models, right? And this is so much better. Because this is, this is a sequence that Hua Rong has that's specifically for him, right? Obviously, this isn't actually in the game. But it's like what they tried doing with Gan Ryu in Tekken 2, but it's actually good. Because Gan Ryu was awkward as fuck. But here, they have all of these animations that custom made for all of these characters. That's obviously Yoshimitsu opening. But they all actually look good. It's really well done, right? It's still going as well. Then this is all for a demo, right? And like, yeah, you have some moves that are like in the game that they just have them do, but like that thing with with Hua Rong, that's completely unique, right? Again, that's supposed to be like this, except actually good. Like compare that to this. You know, like, look. Look at the difference. This is terrible. And again, it's only, what, two years apart? The progression is insane. One's was tragic, so it's immediately better. <laughs> Three is my personal favorite as well, though. Okay, I see what you're doing here. I yeah. <laughs> okay, I get I, I get it now. But Tekken was for when I realized the grandeur of fighting games, like this is what fighting games is supposed to be. I see. I never I get I never had that moment because I I've been playing these games for so long. So I don't know what that feeling is like, but I'm sure Tekken's that way for a lot of people. Is this just the same thing, but with Panda? That's pretty funny. I like it. Yeah, it's just the same thing, but with different characters. Okay. All right. Now for the ending. Starting on Ana's ending. What's this Johnny Bravo looking motherfucker over here? That's like. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm I'm really, really glad that they, that she has an ending that's not just Nina fucking with her and doing horrible things to her. 
It's a great change of pace. Her getting one up on her sister. Um. Dude, the fucking. Why is there so much detail on these random ass NPCs? Uh. I, I mean, I'd give it like. I don't know. Ending itself. Is honestly like a six. It's it's not great, but it's the fact that it's so it's different from Tekken one and two, where it's actually giving Anna an ending. I think that gives some merit to it, so I'll give it like a seven. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this as well. Um, arcade opening is like a two. Uh. Um. Normal opening. Um. Can I interview for a sec while we're still kind of on topic? Yeah, go for it. Uh, opening movie is like... I, I give it an 8. I think I give it an 8. Maybe if we're talking about like openings... Yeah, I go seven and a half, eight somewhere around there. Um, and the opening demo, I... I think I like... Just with how impressive it is at, for the time, I'd probably give it... Like the thing is, it's not something I'd watch again. Um, but it is impressive. I'd give it like a seven. A main edit that tells the story of the Alexanders, Al oh, Alexandras using the opening of some Soul Calibur games is two minutes if you want to react to it. Um, remind me after we do this. Remind me after we're, we're done with the Tekken 3 stuff and I'll watch it. I realize that there are terms for this kind of thing. I watch fighting games. I would get excited uh, if I do a combo longer than three and these people wouldn't even play get a 12 hit. <laughs> I mean, that's why, like I keep saying, you just gotta not compare yourself to other people, right? That's the most important thing. Okay. Brian's ending. I actually remember what this one is. So this is after Brian died and then was turned into a cyborg by Abel. And people were like, oh my god, he got hit by a tank and he lived. And they're sitting here saying that Tekken is an anime. And they're saying that, like, oh, Elisa is too much. They're saying Laws is too much. This is Tekken 3. They're dead. <laughs> like, look, he clearly got shot because his shirt was torn. And then people are saying he'll, like, Bob is too much. This is why I can't take Kazu play seriously. This is Brian's first game, right? Yes, it is. It is Brian's first game. Ugh. All right, Eddie's. Oh, right, Brian's. Brian's I would give... I think the suspension of disbelief is cool. You know, I'm gonna bump Honest down back down to a six because I still think it's a six. Um, Brian's I would definitely give a seven. Seven and a half. I'd give it a seven and a half. Like, like the ending itself isn't great. He just charged that bunch of guys and then throws a tank. But it's the fact that he wasn't phased by it all and he can take all of this damage and just be fine. But he just looks like a human. It's like, what the fuck is he, you know? I think that's cool. Was he a psycho before? He was revived too or not? Um, so he was, um, a, like Lei, he was, uh, a member of Interpol. He, he was an international police officer who was, um, who was dirty and was working for drug dealers and he ended up dying in a shootout. So he was a bad guy, but psychotic, probably not. We also don't know. He could have been. He could have been. He was just a dirty cop, though, basically. 
Well, a dirty into pool cop. It's a little bit different, but you know. Mostly the same thing. I want to mention that huge ridiculous thing in the commentators. Just 12 hits, big deal. Just 12 hits. I mean, to be fair, I play Elisa and I do a, a, a 12 hit combo and no one cares, but it's because I'm in destruction stance and I hit one button. But still, I still did the 12 hit. He was bad Chun Li. He was bad Lei. He was bad Lei. Because he was also in Hong Kong. I don't remember if him and Lei worked together. He might have. I, I can't remember for sure. But like Lei, he was also in Hong Kong. That's when he was doing all of the bad stuff. All right, Eddie. Seek the truth. Thanks. Thanks, Harada. Eddie's room, 1300, 2300 hours. I said 1300. I can't read. I'm illiterate. Organization HQ, zero hours. Da da da. It was Kazia. I broke an HDTV. Yeah, so that was, um, that was, so Eddie was put in prison for his father getting murdered. He was framed for it. And here in, in this ending in Tekken 3, this is when he gets out of prison. He was in prison for, I think, 10 years, something like that. Um, And then he found out that Kazia is the one who framed um, him for his father's murder. Still don't know why Kazia killed his father, but he did. It's so fine, Tekken 3, for a Tekken 3 character, like what the hell? He does that, like th this, this how, how Eddie looks, honestly, is what they should have done with Master Raven. Because Master Raven is too much, right? Like they have all this detail in um, Master Raven's hair be like, oh, look at our hair physics. But like with Eddie here, there's so much, like with his hair, there's so much detail in his hair. Um, because those are all like individual objects, right? It's all, the, the model is completely unique. It's not just hair, like you have individual parts of his hair for like, like you can see the, the in his hair, the, um, instead of it just being one object, Right, which is even something that we see in Tekken 7 still. There are individual lines in his hair, and then the back is all individual as well. Very impressive. Like, again, this is even in Tekken 7. And then with Master Raven, they're just like, hey, look at our hair, look at it all flowing. But it looks dumb. But here, it looks natural, and it's good. Give it a break. It was pre-rendered. It was 1996. Um, it was pre-rendered. Why isn't it in 4K 60 FPS? It was pre-rendered. Why doesn't it look like Tekken 8? The hair in this game is terrible. I mean, yeah, did you see the Johnny Bravo guy? Like, compare Eddie's hair to, like, anyone else. I mean, Jesus Christ, I can't even say that. Like, even, even... Like, let's, let's look back at, at Nina's again. Like, the quality isn't very good, but... Like, even if we look back at Nina's, how's the hair quality on here? It still... It still looks better than Tekken 7. There's still detail in it, and individual parts of it are moving. Unlike Tekken 7, where it's just a glob. It still... It still looks better than Tekken 7. Oh my god. But he was still in the volcano, right? No, um, Eddie's father got murdered, like, way before Tekken 3, like, in the 80s, in the late 80s. I think it was, like, it would have been 88 or 89 or somewhere around there, but it was before even Tekken 1. Um, and then Eddie gets out of jail before Kazuya gets thrown in the volcano, so... Like, why is Lily's hair move like lasagna news, especially when it was fine in five and six? 
lasagna noodles? <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. Um, I'll give Eddie's Tekken 7 on PS1. <laughs> I'll give Eddie's like, I'll give it an eight. I, I, you know, like the text is weird and it's very on the nose, but, um, you know, it tells a story. It looks good. It, it, it's a little bit more than Brian running out of tank, you know? Nah, you know, I'll give it a nine. I, I, I think I'll give it a nine. We'll see how the rest of it goes, but I think I'll give it a nine. It's really, really good. It's nothing like spectacular, but there's like a fight scene. There's a story, there's build up, there's a conclusion. It's really good. It's really good. I'll give it a solid nine. Good old gun jack. Good old Jane. Yeah, so this is happening after, um, like, obviously, Jack gets blown up in Tekken 2. Because this game takes place so much farther after, um, Tekken 2. But this is when Jane, Jane's becoming a programmer and programs Gun Jack, right? Basically revives Jack. And then Ab will hear the asshole that he is. Thank God Brian killed him. Piece of shit. It's not canon, by the way. Actually, it is canon, isn't it? Because there's an alternate ending to that, right? Isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's an alternate ending to that. Let me let me look it up. Reminds me, did you see the the thing I sent you on Twitter? Let me look. Oh, the thing you sent me on Twitter. I don't look at Twitter. <laughs> I don't look at Twitter, so no. She had a tweet. Yeah, uh, Aqua, these tweets that you sent me, I, 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 I have never, um, I'm sorry, but I've never looked at them. I don't look at Twitter at all. There's a whole functioning prototype Jack mod. Okay. All right. Let me see. Let me see. This is sick. What the hell? That's so sick. That's really cool. I I love prototype jacks. Um, wow, this looks so good as well. I gotta use this when I play Jack for the challenge. I love Jack's idol anime. This like Jack prototype Jack's idol animation is one of my favorites in any attacking game ever. It's so good. Prototype Jack is so cool. I love, I love how funky he is. I love that he's obviously a prototype. I think that's so, so cool. Anyway, yes, you can. I, I didn't even know that you had to accept someone to PM you. Saying I think um, you might you might be right about the August 8th, because why do you already get a uh, game trailer? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know. I, I was going I was going to bring this up as well. J just give me a moment before we go on to the next one. Um, I'm also going to try looking up that gun jack thing I was talking about. Um, but I I feel like so so one big thing that I've been hearing from people who have like played the the the, the beta outside of Evo, like Max in particular, Maximilian dude has been saying over and over again, like, I'm sorry, but this game is it has another year before it comes out. I, you know what I think they're doing? I, I think because the fact that we don't have a loose release date at this point is really weird, right? I, I think what they're doing is they're telling the influencers or they're at least hinting at it, like, yeah, this game isn't coming out for a long time. There's a lot of work to do. Even though, like, we got we got to spend a lot of time polishing. Even though clearly there's not. And then they're like, "Yeah, guys, we got Tekken World Tour stuff going up until the end of August, and then there's more coming soon." So now people are like, "Oh yeah, so Tekken World Tour is going till the end of the year, and then the game's gonna come out next year." I think that's all a farce. I think that's all bullshit. 
and they're not going to announce any new events until EVO, and the EVO announcement is going to be uh, Tekken World Tour continuing, Tekken World Tour Finals. Here are the rest of the dates for the rest of the events, and then they're going to give Tekken World Tour a final date, and they're going to be like, end of September. And then they're going to lead into that with Tekken 8 release, October. If it's not like, you know, it, it, assuming that Tekken 8 comes out after the end of Tekken World Tour, which it still might not. Like, it's not impossible for it to not. He, he's bluffing. Yeah, I, I think I think Bandai Namco is entirely, like, everything that they're doing with anything that might hint towards the date is all a red herring. I think they're trying to tell influencers that, or hint at that the game isn't coming out for a long time when it's not. I think that those Tekken World Tour dates with them and more coming soon is bullshit. I think I think that's bullshit. I think they're trying to make people think that the game is coming out a lot later than this so they can surprise everyone with the actual release date. I'm I'm telling you, I might be crazy, but I'm telling you. Anyway, sorry. But yeah, Jack is sick. Yeah, so the second ending with Gunjack, you have to beat the game twice to see it. So let's see if I can see it here. Oh, this is it. It says good ending. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's what actually happened. So we just see Gunjack get nuked out of orbit, right? Here, here's the actual ending. Let me mute Tekken real quick. Do 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 do. Do it. There you go. So that's the that's the, the true ending. That's what actually happened. Jaden Smart. Ah, display capture. Um. Yeah, this one I would give like, I'd give it an eight and a half, I think. I don't think it's as good as Eddie's. Um, I, I like that there are like two endings to it. One of them is like a secret ending that you can unlock. Um. I like that it's still like, following following Jane and this whole like story arc of Jack that's been that started in Tekken 2 um I think it's neat it just doesn't have as much but I, I guess the second ending the the reason why I'm giving it a higher score even though it's kind of like it, whatever for the most part is because the first time you think oh gun Jack's dead Jack's dead Jane's dead that's it and then you see that they're fine and it's like, don't believe everything you see, which is a very common theme in the Tekken story. I, like everything with Tekken um, is don't believe what you see. I think the most obvious example of that at this point is Tekken 6 with Azazel, because obviously now we all know for certain that Jin didn't beat Azazel. Like Laws didn't beat Azazel, but then Jin went in to beat Azazel and he didn't beat him. Right? He didn't kill him, I should say. Zafina's the one that sealed him. Like we know we we know that for a fact. There's no speculation on that. But if you go just by the Tekken 6 story, oh yeah, Jin killed Azazel. That's what they said. Oh, you go with the Tekken 7 story, and then the Tekken 7 story, Nina's like, oh, Jin killed Azazel. But that's not what happened. Um so, you know, it's a, it's a common theme throughout Tekken. Yeah, I give it an eight and a half. Wouldn't be the first time you've been right. I mean, I was right about evil reveal as well, because everyone was saying, oh, no, we got too many trailers, so there's not going to be another character reveal. They're just going to have nothing. 
And I'm like, okay, I know they've done that before, so I'm not going to say that's dumb. But at the same time, they wouldn't have showed Jun or Shao if they had nothing for evil. Like, why wouldn't you just save them for evil then and have a big announcement at evil? Oh, because I needed them ready for the beta test. You could have just not had Jun and Shao in the beta test. You know, like logic, thinking logically, right? Um. I know what they're doing. Right in the question, why can't you 233 as Elisa as a 10 frame punish, but you can use as a whiff punish? It's 12. Uh, 233 is 12 frames, not 10. 24 is a 12 frame punish. Hmm. Yeah, 233 isn't natural on normal hits, only natural on counter hit. The third hit is natural if the second hit hits the hits an opponent. How's that make sense? I'm so lost. What do you mean? Two is 12. Two is 12 frames, not 10. Her only 10 frame move is um is one. Is one one is a 10 frame punish. You said 1-4. At least it doesn't have a 1-4. Oh, no. I, I said 1-2-4 one, one, is guaranteed if they're back turned. If you hit the opponent in the back, then 1-2-4 is all guaranteed. Because I said that because um, I was back turned and you did 1-2, I think. So I, I said the 1-2-4, the whole thing would have been guaranteed. You can't crouch under the 4. Alright, hey Hachi. Devil! Dude, that that tossing animation that, that's so good. Okay, I'll it it's not it's not great, but I'm gonna give it a seven because it's funny. It's funny. It's not offensive, it's funny. I'll give it a seven. <laughs> uh I mean that that's a common theme that we start seeing. And you know, I like the fact too that Heihachi was willing to to let Jin out until he saw the devil start coming out and then he killed him. I appreciate that. I give it a seven. Uh, so don't two, three, three as a whip punch them for something quick. I mean, oh, um, instant while running to two. That's that's what I use for whiff punishment. Instant while running two. And you can also back four, four. Well, wrong ending. All right. What we got? Uh oh. Yeah, we actually still don't know if this ending is canon, right? If Wall Wrong actually won Tekken, the Tekken 3 tournament or not. Nice kick! Uh oh. I like how Jin runs away before he ends up hurting Hua Rong. Dude, I, okay, I'd give that one a 10. I would. I like how it shows Hua Rong winning the tournament. And like how he doesn't really give a shit about the tournament. Because that's not, that wasn't like his goal. And then he saves Jin and then Jin runs away because he doesn't want to hurt him. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I think that's a 10. That's the best one here so far, for sure. It's also, again, another one like Eddie's where it has a story. It has a beginning, middle, end. It has a neat little fight scene in the middle of it. I like it. I think it's a 10. I think it's the best one here so far, for sure. Because it's just weird for me to, uh, after sidestepping the instant while running too. If you sidestep something, then do back 4-4. Four, four. 
or or down forward two or hop kick because at that point you're close enough you do instant while running two of you like mid-range right if you're close enough that you're sidestepping stuff though then just down forward two Never got to fight you at the tournament. Wait, you, there's no, that's Tekken 4, Sin, calm down, we'll get there. All right, Jin ending. No bullet holes, by the way. That's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, this is a classic, right? I mean, that that's an easy 10. That's probably, of all of the endings in all of the Tekken games so far, that's probably the best one, right? Like, it's an easy 10. I don't even think we have to talk about it. Like, first is the cannon ending. Second, Jin getting shot and lived. Third is the th first time we actually see Devil Jin. The horror elements of it as well, the unique music and pacing, I mean, it's easily a 10. It, like, what other ending from here could even compare, you know? Armor King's ending. Armor King's Tekken 2 ending, definitely, right? I think this is one that also, because it just feels so unique. Um, but even then, like, it's th this is a really good one. Remember this ending vividly, and I, I don't know why it gets a 10 for that alone, yeah. Yeah, I do too for some reason. And again, I never play Tekken 3. All right, Julia. I don't remember this. The, the talking? Together. You have conquered Ogre. Now the key to control Ogre is this pendant. It was all Heihachi's evil plot. I'll never Fun. let Heihachi get away with this. No, Julia, wait. Julia, hatred is not the answer. Do you remember why I taught you the powers to fight? It was to protect Mother Earth, not to destroy. Now let's go home, back to Arizona, where the land awaits us. Uh, okay, well, um, um, A for effort, it's a three. <laughs> Cause that's just they use Julia's ending as a fucking plot device. A for effort. I'm pretty sure that's the first time that there's any talking in an ending. Like hearing a character speak. So wait, who who was the first character in a Tekken game to ever speak? Was it Julia or Michelle? Michelle. Okay, it was Julia. Julia was the first character in the Tekken game to speak. But... That's a three. I'm sorry, but like... You couldn't even get good voice actors. Yeah. Let's go back to Arizona. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Alright, King ending. Wrestling! Beat his ass! They got Armor Kings here. This is still the first Armor King, I think, right? I don't remember that ending. Okay, well that one, that's a, wow. 
Well, that one's a 10. Oh my God. Dude, that's like, wait, if. Dude, I didn't even notice this, but it's the same as uh, as his uh, as Alma King's Tekken 2 ending. Well, there's no music, right? I didn't even notice that because of the cheering and stuff. I mean, that's that's easily a 10. I always hate the king endings. You don't like the orphans? That was more of an army king ending, honestly. Like, why is it so tragic? I mean, I like that part of it, though. I like that it's not just like, oh, Brian, like, runs up to a tank and, and tears it in half, you know? Like, something that doesn't have to be very action-packed but it's still like impactful right like it, it, it it's just like it tricks you as well because like again it's 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 the same as armor king's ending where there's like there's no music there's something that's a little bit like you, something's going on but it's normal right because it's just king wrestling and stuff and then you get to the end and you're like oh oh and then you look back at it again, you notice those little things and you're like, those little things that are off and you're like, oh. And it's the fact that he has his mask off as well, right? Like, like it's everything comes together. The lack of music, the panic. You get in there, his mask is off and it, it goes black and white. I mean, easily, that's easily a 10. Easily. Like, I don't know. There's, there's more I want to say about it, but at the same time, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just like, damn. It's really dark, but it's really good. It's really, really good. I mean, again, it, it's crazy how these ones with Armor King in the early attacking games are like the best endings, right? I, the, I mean, the best ones now, I'd say, are this King's ending, Tekken 2 Armor King's ending, and then Jin's Tekken 3 ending. So far, right? Man. I'm not saying they're good, of course, they're amazing, but it makes me sad. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I get lighthearted for something. One, we get those in the later games. We get them in the later games. In the earlier games, though, no. Sorry, perspective. You need something like that for orphanage and care to makes more sense. Yeah, and the, you know the odd thing is too. This is the second king, right? This is the second king, and the second king trained under the first armor king. So this is. That's why Armor King is like on the sidelines there as well. But then it's like, his, his if, if his instructor has just disappeared, it's like, you know, at, cause, cause like, cause like in um, the first King, Armor King was more like a, um, like a, a mentor, I guess, if you could say that, but wasn't like a trainer, you know? Um, but the second Armor King, the the first arm of king is is his trainer, right? Is his coach. So it's a very very different thing. <clears throat> is the king that was in the alley the dead one in Tekken two? Yeah, that was that was the first king. Yeah, king. Um, the first king died in with Oz Ogre's resurrection. So he died between Tekken 2 and 3, and this king is, is the second king. All right, Kuma's ending. Oh, boy.
What the hell? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Because he, op he starts opening his mouth like he's going to eat them. <laughs> no one cares. It's like he doesn't exist. Okay, uh, it's not good. But I'll, I'll give it a six because it's funny. It's like, it, it really, it's a two. No, yo, I'll give it a seven because it's it's funny. It's, it's really funny. I mean, it's like a two. It deserves like a two, but it's funny. So I'll give it a seven. Six and a half. I'll give it a six and a half. Seven might be a little bit too much, but it's funny. Forced. E. What the fuck? Why? It, why is it always this? This is a one. You just reused the Lost Tekken 2 ending and threw Forest. This is a one. All these stiff ass mobs. Yeah, the models are stiff. The animation isn't good. You don't even show the backflips. It's just thunk. It's not even funny. Nothing that tells you who Forest Law even really is. That's a one. That's weak as hell. No, you know what? I'll give it a two for the two dumb fucks that fell on the ground. All right, lay. I remember this one. This is a Jackie Chan reference, right? This entire thing. Seen the bowl as well. Going through the different seasons. Yeah, this is really good. Going through all of the seasons? Wow. <laughs> Just in Buddha. Okay, that's pretty good. I almost want to give that one a 10. Because you have the Jackie Chan references. You have the multiple seasons, so you're having to change the entire environment. Like, the ending itself, technically-wise, for the time, is really, really good. Having all these very specific small movements, having them move around objects like that, um... Like, all of the little details that go into it, having all of the seasons, um, the plates, like, balancing on their arms and then flying in the air and then still landing on the arms like that. No, that one's a 10. That one's really good. That's really, really good. That's so well done. Trice, it, it's not my favorite ending here, but technically speaking, that might be better done than any other ending here. In Tekken 3. He's a Mexican wrestler. Mexican wrestlers take pride in uh, learning the mask, which is why Army King without one is shocking. Yeah, yeah. That I, I forgot to bring that up, but yeah, like I said, it was with the mask, but the, the context is important that like Armor King taking off his mask like that is a lot more significant because he's a Mexican wrestler than like if it was like WWE or some shit, you know? Yeah, that's why we never see King's actual face because the mask is very important to that culture. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, but no, you're right, and I'm glad. I'm thank you for bringing that up because I forgot to bring it up. But it is it is a very very important aspect of that ending. It like it really the the fact that he does that is what is really shocking if you understand the context and it's what tells you just how serious it is. Cause it's not just Armor King like going to the back cause he's sick or something like it's, it's something that's bad, you know? Um. Anyway, Mokujin. Okay, this is really good. Hmm? I like that they have images of just a real forest. What the hell is Mokujin's noises? Oh! This is funny. 
Th this is like Kuma's ending with it being funny, but it's actually good. I want to give that a nine. 20 out of 10. I want to give that at least a nine. Maybe even a 10. No, I'm giving it a 10 just because of how meta it is. You have it in a forest as well. So you have like the living trees playing Tacket. No, okay, yeah, that's a 10. That's so good. I, I just don't want to give it a 10 because I feel like I'm handing out 10s too liberally here because I've, I've already given up three. But I mean, come on, it's really good. It's really good. It's funny. It has a plot. It's unique, right? With it having actual videos of like real plays and stuff it being rendered in the game, which is part of like the whole meta thing that they're doing with Mokujin. Like it has a double meaning, right? So Tekken is a game in the universe. I guess. Yeah, that has, that has some implications, doesn't it? <laughs> you can play Tekken in Tekken. You can if you're Mokujin and you're in a forest. All right, Nina's ending. Boskanovich! Wait, she can't remember her father? Okay. That's... There's so many things I can say here. I... I don't know how to... I, I don't think I've seen that one. Just remember that she hates Anna, what the fuck? No, I think... Because that's what I thought too for a second. But I think what happened was that... <clears throat> Seeing her father's grave gave her, like, a flashback of what happened, and then she immediately forgot it again. I think that's what happened. So, like, all, all that she knows is that for some reason, Anna is on top of her, so that's why she slaps her. But it's not like hating Anna, it's just like, why the fuck are you on me like this? What are you doing? Because she just forgot. Like, she remembered for a moment, and then she forgot again. Oh man, I didn't know that's that. I didn't know that she forgot her memories like that. Oh man, that's really sad, isn't it? I wish they didn't have the music change. That's the biggest complaint I have because it has like they should have they should have kept the same tone with the music because the music changing like that makes it feel like. The music changing the tone like that makes it feel like it's supposed to be com comedic and like the whole thing with like, oh, Nina's abusing Anna again. But the reality of the situation isn't funny. It's really weird that they do that. I don't like it. Um, it kind of ruins the ending in a lot of ways because the, the ending was really good up until that. Right, because then I was just like confused. Like, oh my God, are they really doing this shit again? And it took me a minute to understand, but that's, that's because of the music. Like if they kept the music the same or they just cut out the music entirely, it would have a lot different of a meaning. Um. So I'm, I'm torn, right? Cause on one hand, I, I, I honestly want to give it a 10. But on the other hand, the music change like that makes it so that I just, I can't. Because it really ruins the... It really ruins a big part of the ending there. I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. Wonder how she goes back to being an assassin unless she does eventually regain all of her memories. I don't believe she was an assassin before Tekken 3. I don't believe she was. I think she only became an assassin after Tekken 3, but I don't remember. 
Seeing the Great Mayor completely retain her memories, now she remembers whatever rivalry she had, she and her sister had. Oh, really? Okay, then fuck it. Then this is like, a, then this is a five. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Th that, this is like a five then. Because if, if you had it so that she actually lost her memories and that she regained them for a second, like I said before, that would be so much more impactful. And then having her slowly regain her memories over time would have been so much better than it just being like, oh, she regained her memories and she slapped her sister. Ha ha, funny. Look at, look at Nina abusing her sister and being a cunt again. That's, that's so, that's so shit. You had such, you had such a good, like, foundation, and then you just ruined it. That's so shitty. No, that's like a three. I'm, I like, I'm upset. I'm actually upset. Like, it doesn't deserve a three, but it's a three just because I'm upset and it's fucking stupid. Back to hang Nina, cool. <laughs> she deserves it. Especially after Anna went through the effort of trying to help Nina regain her memories. If anything, this is just making me like Anna more. Fuck Nina. Like Jesus, now I understand. Like, like I, I didn't really care for for Anna before because of the like, you know, I just didn't care for her personality too much, but. Now that I've seen all of this bullshit throughout these three Tekken games, because I didn't really know this story before, but now that I've seen it, I understand why Anna acts out so much. I get it. It's sad. And then the f that she stops doing that in 7 because Nina crossed a line, even though she should have crossed a line before. Like, it's sad. It really is. Like, I, f I feel bad for Anna. But at the same time, I, I at least, it's really weird because all of Nina's endings throughout these three games have made me detest Nina. Like, I already didn't care for her, but now I fucking hate her. And I'm actually kind of okay with Hana now. Whereas before I was like, eh, I don't like her. She's, she's kind of dumb. But, like, I get it now. It makes sense. It, 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 it makes sense for her character and her backstory. She would do that. Um. Yeah. You know what? I'm learning Jack, but I'm tempted to go back. I'm sick of the slander. Do it. Do it. All right, Paul. He gonna die. It, why are you honking at him? Why? Why was that face more detailed than some of the faces we see in Tekken 8? What? Look at... Okay, I don't understand the ending, but just hold on. I'll get to the ending in a second. Can we just take a second? That's four. We're spo we're, this is spoilers. Shit was made in 1996. That. This could easily be a pre-rendered cutscene from a game made this year. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Dude, the lighting on this is insane. How? How, how did they do this? I mean, it's, it's lighting. They did this with lighting, but Jesus Christ. This looks better than some Tekken 8 characters do. It looks like a p it does, but it's in motion. Look, this is in motion. This isn't just 
a, that's not just like an image. That's a that's in motion. This is insane. Look at this. He has detail on his eyes, on his cheekbones, his mouth, his chin, his nose, his fucking neck. This is insane. He has a reflection in his glasses. What the fuck? Like, I'm blown away and it's 2023. Tekken 8's coming out. Like, I can go back in time to 1996 and be like, hey, wake up, Tekken 8's coming out and show him this. And they'd be like, oh shit. Dude, that's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm blown away. Like I said, th this looks like he has de he has fucking little detail in his facial hair. And his eyebrows, like you can see his eyebrows is not just a line, but there's actual detail. How, how much money did this take? <laughs> this is, this is insane. <laughs> like I can't get over the fact that this looks better than some characters in Tekken 8. Like I'm, hold on. I'm sorry, but compare this to Jin. This looks better. This unironically looks better than Jin's face in Tekken 8. That's. It. I mean, it's gotta get a 10. I. Like, there's more detail in his neck than Jin's. I. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. I don't. I d That's just that's crazy. It it's that's really crazy. Um Wow. Wow. <sighs> I don't how did they do that? Like really? I'm genuine. Genuinely, how in 1996 did they do that? I know it's like two seconds, but it's it's actually animated. Again, I know it's the lighting. They did it with the lighting. Like if you, if you looked at whatever the, uh, this model face on, it would probably look terrible. But the fact that they were able to manipulate the lighting like that, and they, like it still requires the modeling as well. But the ending itself is fucking stupid though. It, it honestly just gets carried by that. Like, I'm blown away by that. It, it, the ending itself, like, we wouldn't see detail like that for another 30 years in games, you know? Um, but, like, the ending itself is stupid. Like, it, it's... It, 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 the, the, he can... He, Paul is legally allowed to pass around the truck. The truck, the truck starts honking at him for passing, but like, dude, you're you're a giant truck. You're moving slow as hell. If you're getting mad at someone passing you, then you're a dipshit. Like, it's it's one of those breakaway yellow lines, which means that you're allowed to pass. It's not like it's a fucking solid yellow line or anything. He's legally allowed to pass, and then he gets pulled over by a cop for what? Like what, you go in to tell me he was speeding? He was legally allowed to pass. No one was in the oncoming lane. He was behind this giant ass truck that was almost certainly going below the speed limit. And besides, even if he was going below the speed limit, legally, you are allowed to speed up to pass. You are, le are legally allowed to go past the speed limit to pass someone. I so, why is he getting pulled over? <laughs> The ending makes no sense. The ending really is like a three, but just because of that, it's a ten. It, it's it's a it's a three ten. Nobody who are wrong at sixty, who are wrong at sixty. Is that tagging forty five? Oh my god! Sorry, I I went off the rails on that cop, but my god, that. Pfft. I was joking about how like Tekken 1 facial models were better than Tekken 7 and lo and behold we got the cop in Tekken 3. That that guy needs to be a character. Alright, Tiger Jackson.
this was the basis for the Tag and Tag One soundtrack, wasn't it? Cop attack and 30 FGC beam win. We gotta make it. I heard part of a Tekken Tag 2 song in there, the da 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 da. Did you hear that like at the end? Okay, I quite like this. This is actually pretty good. I'm gonna watch it again. Just for the music alone. Like it's a it's a full song. This is all animated. You got the night, the 70s disco thing going on. The dance animation is really well done, too. It's a fun ending, yeah, for sure. The, the kick. It's really well animated. Yeah, it's not stiff. Like, his entire body is moving. You don't see, like, his head being static. Everything is moving. Like, I don't want to give out more 10s, but that's a 10. It, it is. That's a 10. I'm sorry, but it is. It's like Lay's, but it's got good music as well instead of a reference. That's that. Yeah, that's a 10. That's really well animated. Great music. It's fun. Breaks up some of the other endings in the game. Fits the character really well. 10. Oh. Uh oh. So this is after Paul defeats Olga, right? Damn the fire effect. The helicopter, the individual parts of the helicopter breaking apart. That's pretty good. Yeah, so that would be canon, right? Because that would be after Paul defeats him. I mean, that's pretty good. I'd say that's a nine. There was Gore and Tekken, or was that just the transformation? That was just the transformation. Now you got Tekken Tag 1 in my head. The music's good. Yeah, I'd say that's a 9. I'd say that's a 9. It's pretty good. It's nothing that's, like, too spectacular. But the transformation is cool. Bringing down the helicopters and all that's cool. It's a good set piece. It's a 9. It's just compared to some... Like, if this was one of the first ones, I'd probably give it a 10. But compared to some of the R ones, like Jin and... Kings and even like tigers, you know. Um, it doesn't stand out as much to me, but it's still really good. It's a nine. Charles. I like they just. This is just fully hand drawn. I'm pretty sure that's a Dragon Ball reference as well. Tekken anime win. And then it's all Heihachi. I love that. How it, I, her mind is all drawn and then reality. <laughs> Chi Gao. Da. Ro. Chi Gao Da Ro. Um, so, what that actually means in Japanese is that's wrong. It's also a very, it's also a very masculine way of saying that's wrong. Oh, but Tekken is an anime. Don't even get me started. I can't get started because I can't yell because my dad's sleeping now in the other room. But, oh man. Stop telling me Tekken is an anime. I really don't think Paul... Touched him, he beat Heihachi and left. No, Paul beat Ogre. That is canon. Paul did defeat Ogre. He tied with Kazuya in Tekken 2. But he beat Ogre. He did. He just didn't beat True Ogre. Jin beat True Ogre. Uh, 
Uh, man, what do I give this one? I mean, I love the contrast between the drawn and the the rendered when you have Heihachi's thing, because the drawn one is like the um, what's going on in Xiao's mind. Because that's like the cartoony one is what's going on in Xiao's mind. And then you have between, and then you have like anime with Heihachi and Xiao, and then you have the rendered one. Like you have all three different art styles to differentiate all three things that are going on. I don't want to give out more tens, but it's a ten. I'm sorry, it is. It's it's really really good. It's really good. This game has a lot of really good endings, huh? This game has a lot of really good endings. But like, I have to give it a ten because there's nothing I can compare it to. It's unique. They did something unique. They have a story. It's funny. I like how Rochelle beats up Behachi. It's it's really good. It's really good and it's done really well too. It's a ten. It's a ten. All right, and then lastly, Yoshimitsu's. The giant rat. It's working. Oh no, it's working. <laughs> it's funny, right? It's funny. Um, it's fitting for a Yoshimitsu ending as well, right? It's, it's... I'm not gonna give it a 10, because compared to the other 10s, it's not that good, but it's a 9. It's iconic, it's funny, it's canon as well. Um... It's really good. What they expect to happen? Well, the idea <clears throat> is that, um... Olga's blood is supposed to cure the disease that Bosconovich has. So they're giving Olga's blood to the rat to make sure nothing bad happens. Or at least some mixture of Olga's blood or whatever Bosconovich thinks the medicine's going to be to cure him. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, this game has this game has a lot of really good endings, man. Like Tekken 1 and 2 had a lot of good endings, but that was from like a technical standpoint, right? Like Tekken 1 all the endings themselves aren't necessarily good, but from like the technical perspective of this game coming out in 1992, I think, 1993, um like the animations and stuff that they have, like a lot of it is very much supposed to be like a technical test, but a lot of the stuff here is really, really good. Like Michelle's face animations are genuinely really good. Jack's whole thing with the machinery and stuff is good, but the endings themselves aren't that good. Tekken 2, we start seeing a mix where we have endings like Armor Kings that are just good endings, right? Um, but that but we also have things that are like a mix where we have like jack with it being good ending and but also having more of a feature on like the technical things that they're doing with the game um but then in tekken 3 for the most part it's just like they're just really really solid um endings they have an, a story to them they have a plot um cool sequences not just being like oh here's here's a tech demo of what we can do with our engine or whatever but genuine like it feels like it fits in to the ending that they're trying to give it's all really really good um like christ it's easier to give tell you what the bad endings in this game are and that's kumas and force Every other ending in this game is is genuinely really good. Oh, and Anna's. Anna's, like, by comparison to the rest of them, not that good, right? But the rest of the endings in this game... Oh, Julia's. I forgot about Julia's. I blocked it out of my mind because it was so bad, but this was by far the worst one. Not even close. But, um... Besides that, the rest of these are really good. Like, the, the rest of these are at least an 8. A good chunk of them are a 10. Um, I mean, how many are 10s here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven out of 19. That's pretty good. That's really good. Really, really solid. And then the rest of these are nines. Like this is a nine, this is a nine, this is a nine. Um, 
I mean, Jesus, like, Paul's, like, is, like, a 310. I don't know where to put his. Um, like, this is a 9, right? This is, this is around the 9. These are really, really good. These are really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, like, even by mod standards as well, they're really, really good. Yoshimitsu and intro was actually insane. Yeah, it's like, it's like the same thing as like the cop's face, you know, the hand intro having all of the mechanisms and stuff being shown and moving. Where's that kind of stuff in Tekken nowadays? Like this was the 90s. Like I know that we're, we're approaching like the upper limit of what you can do, but also Jesus, I, I want to see a Tekken game where they do something that's like that again where like they they have something that just even if it's for a second or in an opening or something just blows everything out of the water everything that's been done in a triple a game is just like in this one moment it was better than anything else that was out there yeah really solid though tekken 3 ending is really really good um Tekken Tag is going to be an interesting one because a lot of these aren't really endings. So... But, like, the problem is a lot of these aren't endings, but some of them are, and also the opening movies as well that we have. We'll still watch them. Um, probably going to go through these quicker, though, when we do. <clears throat> but Tekken 4, Tekken 5, Tekken 6... Those are going to be the big ones. Look at look at all these endings. This is gonna take fucking forever. Oh my god, this is 62. Anyway. That's gonna do it for me today. Um, I will be back tomorrow playing a fighting game. We didn't have any trailers today. Sad, right? The Thank you for reminding me, Aqua. Thank you for reminding me. I will watch it right now. See? I forget. I always forget this stuff. Okay. Let me mute Tekken 7. I just watched it as bad as I thought it was. I got into snaps. I'm ready. I hate that it's on Twitter because I can't change the quality, but. Okay, Aqua, before I continue, is this music copyrighted? Is it going to get me muted? <laughs> is this from a game or something, or is this copyrighted? Because <laughs> I don't want the stream to get muted, and I especially don't want the chance of getting a strike. <laughs> I don't know what's an indie song. Oh, if it's an indie song, then it's fine. Okay. I got turned up. Okay, I'm actually, I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down. The shod. Okay, I got I got to tell you the music is important. Okay, cuz I was about to say I kind of don't care about the music to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to tear it down though. Man, like these, these are the things about um Soul Calibur 6 that's so unfortunate is that like you want to do stuff like that, but when it's when when there's no animation to go with it, I get it. Go on pretending. I get it. Tira. I'm gonna groom the child.
doesn't even show Sofitia's death. Oh, that's cool. The astral fissure. I forgot Pierre even opened an astral fissure. That's pretty sick. Ah, good old Elysium. Sophidia's dead. Don't start with me. Sophidia's dead. I'm blind. Okay, I will say, I didn't care for the music. But... It was, it was well done. <laughs> the editing and stuff was well done. I just didn't care for the music. I would have preferred no music. <laughs> but you know me, I'm a fucking boomer, okay? I, I know that, like, that, like, nowadays it's, it's hip and cool to do the music stuff and put music in the videos and the back. I, I just would have preferred no music, personally. But! No, it's, it's really good. It's really good. It it does it does a really good job of telling the story. Like again, it, it's it wouldn't have fit without the music. I don't know, man. I'm a fucking boomer, okay. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, like this is one of the unfortunate things about Soul Calibur, though. I think because like you 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 did a great job with it, and I don't think it could have done much better. You know, it, it does do a good job of, of telling the story um, in a quick way between the games. But, like, the problem is, like I was saying with Soul Calibur 6, is that there's so much important stuff that happens in Soul Calibur 6, and there's just no cutscenes or anything to go with it. So if you, if you try making any videos, because I've tried doing this, if you try making videos on characters' lore in Soul Calibur, a lot of the time it's just, like, if anything comes up from Soul Calibur 6 static image you know like it's it's really really difficult to work with lack of cutscenes was really hard yeah like you have to be you have to be really creative to get it to work and even then even then there's like there's not much that you can do because like and and the problem it's not just soul caliber six soul edge to soul caliber two has nothing either it's only soul caliber three and four and, and like, Soul Calibur 5 barely has anything. It's so limited because everything that happens between 4 and 5 is like in a book. <laughs> it, it's, it's, all, it's all written. It's even worse than Soul Calibur 6 because you don't even have images to go with it. It's just like written words and that's it. Like, how do you work with that? And it's the answer is you kind of can't. You have to... um. If if you want to work with it, you you have to do something different uh, than the stuff that's in the game. Like you have to you have to draw out scenes yourself, or you have to have a format. If you're doing a video or something, if you're doing like a a video where you're d talking about the lore, where you're like this, how I am, and um, occasionally cutting into like bits that you can show, but it's it's hard. It really is. It's one of the most unfortunate things about the whole series is that, like, this is why, this is exactly why, um, because if you think about it, with cutscenes, right, I wanted something with Raph and Amy's story, but it would have been so boring, yeah, this story is so good, same with Zasoma, but I have nothing to work with, yeah, exactly, um, like, because the thing is, with... The cutscenes in Soul Calibur, people say, on one hand, that, like, oh, it would get more casual players to buy the game, blah, 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 blah. But what I think is even more important than that may or may not happen, happening, is the fact that it would make it so much easier to make videos on the lore of the game. Because this is something that, that YouTube channels do, um, and they get a lot of views. Like, back when Tekken 7 came out, 
People were doing that for Tekken 7 when Guilty Gear Strive was, do was coming out. People were making videos on Guilty Gear Strive's lore. And you know why it's so much easier to do that for Guilty Gear Strive? Because Guilty Gear Strive's story is just a cutscene. It's just a cutscene. That's it. Why is Tekken's story so much easier to do? Because each Tekken game, every single Tekken game going back to Tekken 1 has endings for each character. Soul Calibur, two games have that. Where they have rendered cutscenes. Two. Um, Soul Calibur, you can't do that. Because, the, because there's just nothing to work with. There's no reason to do it. But if, if, you, if you have videos, if, if you give the community the ability to make videos by giving them these options with pre-rendered cutscene videos that they can work with, and then making videos out of that to explain story or explain things that would appeal more to casuals, that gets more casuals' eyes on the game and get more people interested, right? Those kind of videos do. They just do. That, it's free marketing. It goes beyond just selling copies of the game because, oh, it has cutscenes and it has single player and whatever. It goes beyond that. Like Even someone that doesn't care about single player stuff like me appreciates the story so like i went through all of guilty gear story because of that so being able to have something where you're able to more easily like convey the story of a game or an individual character to get someone to think that the character is cool and play them and want to play the game for them, I think is extremely important and something that would be so easy for Soul Calibur to do because they directly tap into that market and they don't do it. It's like self-sabotage, which is really a shame. And I, I understand why they did it in Soul Calibur 6 because that's what they wanted to do in 5 and the game never was finished and flopped because of it. <clears throat> but... It's something they got to do. It, they really do. Because it's like, and I think at this point it goes beyond just they need to do it in the game. But and I think this is something more fighting games need to do. They need to do things like what all of these other multiplayer only esports games do, like Apex and Dota and whatever. What they need to have, they need to spend time and money making a series of videos where they talk about each character's story and they make like a whole rendered video like five to seven minutes long on each character because that gets people that gets people's eyes on it that gets people excited that would that would be it would cost a lot of money but even if you just do that for a couple of characters you don't even have to do that for the whole roster even if you just do that for a couple of characters that's a that that would get a lot of marketing. Like you see how much attention I said this with Leroy when he came out in Tekken 7, just how much attention Leroy got from his character trailer. Imagine if he had a full pre-rendered or well pre-rendered, a full rendered video on YouTube. It's five minutes long, just about him and his backstory. How much attention would that get? That would get millions of views. That would get so many more people interested in playing Tekken. If you had stuff like that. It would. This is, and it's not just like, oh, it might. It would. This is marketing that other games use all the time. Going back years. Right? Years. Why don't fighting games do that? <laughs> And this is easy marketing that you can have throughout the lifespan of the game. Like, in between seasons, when you're not announcing characters and having character trailers, have stuff like that. Because that reaches a casual audience. That reaches an audience that doesn't play the game. This is a completely untapped market. It is. Character trailers don't reach casual players. Character trailers don't reach character people that don't play the game. When was the last time you saw a character trailer for, like, League of Legends? That game is huge. But if you don't give a shit about League of Legends, you're not going to care about a character trailer. It's the same with people with fighting games. That's why the Tekken 7 character trailers only have a couple hundred thousand views. Because those are only the people that are playing the game. Full, like, rendered videos, stories of characters. That gets attention from people outside the FGC. And no one does it. Why? 
Why? And would all, again, it would also make it easier for people who play the game who want to make content like what you made, Aqua, because then they have more material to work with. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I, I, think, I think it's just free marketing. I really do. Like, yeah, it would cost a lot of time and money to make, but at the same time, you're reaching such a bigger audience. And it would be something everyone who plays the game would appreciate. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's I think it's really dumb that they don't do that. I'm sad because Tia's backstory is uh, in this game, but there's no cutscenes about. So even if I wanted to make an edit of her story, upbringing footage from future games, her crucial upbringing would have or uh, upbringing would have no coverage. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? The one little drawn image in Soul Calibur Six. Of her backstory, like, no, you, yeah. Anyway, you did a great job. You, you did it. You did a great job. Like, I, like, I, like that, that's what that's what I'm trying to get with this. Like, it, they they make it so hard to do anything. So the fact that you can get a cohesive narrative at all out of the very little that you have, solid. It's very very difficult to do. <clears throat> All right, I'm still sitting here trying to adjust my microphone because it's all fucked up. Because I, I fucked it up. Fucked it, I fucked it up. I fucked. God, God damn it! All right, I'm gonna deal with this later. I'm going to hold it here because if I let it go, it's going to flap. As an uh, example. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I'll be back. Be back tomorrow with a fighting game. Probably end up just playing more Tekken, honestly, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Anyway, have a good night. Uh, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Weakest Soul Calibur stream. Don't count on it. <laughs>